Hey everybody, how are you all doing? We're uh, once again playing The Angler with Kel Clinton and also with Brobra. Hope you guys are going to uh, have fun watching this. A little bit of a later stream than normal, but this was the only time that we could all get uh, on at once. So that's, uh, that's what we're going to be working with. But thank you all for being here. Let's uh, jump into the action and hopefully we can catch some big fish today. Let's see if we can maybe get this while we're waiting for uh, everybody to get in here. Hey, Siv, how's it going? Hey, Sean, Zachary, Garen, Luke, Jaren, Big Gulps. There we go, fish on. Hey, fishing guy. Hey, Caleb. Hey, Blue. How is everybody doing? But also, guys, probably in like two or three days, I actually am going to have a video kind of talking about the angler. And a topic that some of the comments that I've seen about the angler has kind of sparked up for me. I really don't understand what is so wrong about liking a game that many consider to be bad. So I decided that I'm probably going to make a video talking about that topic and some of the stuff that goes along with it. Because I feel like it's a conversation that needs to be had and also just to clear up some of some things that are on my end on like my perspective on certain Certain things that I've seen because of the uh, the angler's release, but anyway, let's uh let's unmute and get to chatting with Brobra and Kill Clinton. Hey, you guys there? I'm here. Been here. Hey, there? how you doing? Well, I'm doing. You, you doing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Got me some bass. Nice, dude. Nice. Uh, yeah, Brayden, eventually there will be other maps in this game. They eventually will add other maps. Hey, Vinok, how's it going? And also, thank you for becoming a member. I saw that you became a member when I was, uh, not li when I was not live, so thank you for that. Really appreciate it, dude. I'm doing good, Eclipse. Doing very good. Uh, had a fun day recording some videos on, uh, Way of the Hunter and The Hunter Call of the Wild, so... Definitely been having a good day, and I'm getting ready to do a, like, weekly recap on the angler as well. Showing off, like, a couple of the diamonds that I got, and, uh, stuff like that, so, been having fun. Been making a lot of different, uh, types of content the last couple of days. Uh, yeah, we can these check this out. Too. Hey, how's it going, man? How's it going? It's, it's Scarecrow, it's right? It's good and go. Um, no, I'm Carescrow. Oh, is Scarecrow gonna join us today? I told everybody oh. Scarecrow would be here. Oh, oh he, uh, he doesn't exist. Sorry. Oh, okay. Well, nice to meet you guys. My name's Casey. Hi, Casey. How you doing? Casey. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Casey. Emphasis oh, on oh, okay, okay. Oh, Maxwell. Thank you very much for the uh, super chat. Thank you, Maxwell. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. That Dropping just Easter eggs super. all over here, huh? Okay, so yes. <laughs> we have to try, of course, Brobra and Scarecrow are already in the same server. I have to try to join them again. Same thing. Yep, gotta so love it. We're going to try to make that happen. <laughs> One thing I hope will get fixed soon is the servers and trying to get into the same server. Yeah, for some reason, it's just I have a lot of trouble getting into their server, the server with these two, but I'm going to try to make that happen real quick. I think that's the Levi, only thing about uh, this game. Hey, that's William. Sorry. Frustrating. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be fixed, though. Oh, definitely. Pretty sure they're already trying to find ways to fix it. I'm just... There's just something about this game where I'm always excited to just... Get out and fish. Maybe, maybe it's because I've only here. got one diamond so far. I don't know. I love, like, the lottery ticket. Uh, no, Brayden, you, you can't. Know? Oh, I got in! Nice, nice. dude, nice. I'm here. Yes. You're here? Wait, oh, my gosh. Here, I'm just fast traveling to you guys. Let's go. Uh, yeah, Zachary, I would recommend this game to people, primarily people that want a more relaxed and uh, less grindy fishing experience, because most of the fishing games out right now are pretty, I guess, realism focused and more grindy, uh, harder to play, take longer to level up, longer to catch fish. And this one's definitely more on the uh, faster paced arcadey side similar to the hunter call of the wild so if you like those types of games i definitely recommend it i mean the game just released and it's already got more content than what the hunter call of the wild had when it first released so i'd say it's definitely a good bet 
I don't know. I'm I'm fish. No, I'm fishing next to a bridge. Oh, you're over there. Okay, I'm gonna come come grab a boat and hop out here. Do it. Do it. Come over to you guys. Also, guys, uh, how are our streams looking? Are they looking smooth? No lag or anything like that? As there is some issues sometimes with lag when streaming the angler. But let us know if either of our streams get uh, laggy at any point. Yeah. So we can I got uh, get it going fixed. Though. Super happy with that. Cam. Nice. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad that it started working for you. Oh my gosh, the fix for it was so wild. Couldn't believe it. There we go. Pick me up, Buttercup. Hey, how's it going? Hi. Whoa, Sorry. look at you. Spoke oh, you're driving fish. this time? Okay, okay. I can I can roll with that. Yes, please. Oh, where are we please. going? Oh, we're we going are for a trip. Okay. Yeah. I want and okay, I, go. I really want to I really want to Fish we're gonna play. Trout, we're gonna just... play the game of wherever Kill Clinton takes us is where we're going. Oh really? Because I think you probably know the least about this area of all three of us, so it's. I know there's I, a lot I, of I just, just want to see you take us somewhere, and see how it goes. Um, I'm I'm over okay. here. Brobra exists to our left. Are you not able to see him? No, I can't see. Okay, him. Uh, go back to that rock that's kind of in the water a bit. That's where he is. There's a rock in the water? Dude, 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 dude he just did a 360. He's behind us. Yeah, I'm looking for the rock just, in the just, water. Yeah. <laughs> it's, Wait, it's right over there. He's, he's you, just no, chilling on that there. rock. I'm going to do a Mission here? Impossible. No, go into the bridge. Go into the bridge. I'm oh, gonna he's going to jump. Oh, he's going to jump it. Or you could just take the easy route and jump in right now. Uh, absolutely unacceptable. I'm doing All Mission right. Impossible. I don't even know yep. if you can jump up there, if I'm being honest. Can you jump on that rail? No. Yeah, of no, course no, I can, dude. No. Okay, hold on. I'll scale it. <laughs> you, can, you can. No, dude. I used to do this in Halo 3. Oh, are you going to go clear to the top? I can, dude. I, I see what you're attempting. I don't know if it's going to work, though. Hey, oh, buddy. my okay. gosh. You can do it. <laughs> this is just yeah. beautiful. No, he's, he's on the very top of the bridge. He's about to jump down on top of us. Oh. What? Oh my gosh, here we go. Oh, I wish I could see that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Back it up, back it up. Yeah, I need a little bit more. I need a little bit more space. Back it up, back it up. How's Keep that? Going. Yeah, I think, Keep I think going. we're maybe almost just a little Keep bit more. Going. Keep going. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, did I'm you in. make it? I'm oh, in. you made it. Let's go. All right. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Dude, nice jacket. Thanks. Again, nice jacket. And then I, I don't I know mean, what Bro Brobra's got some rubber boots on still, some nice up. yellow boots. I think Church we could put real. Sauger in here if you guys want. Do you guys have anybody have a diamond Sauger yet? I do uh, not. No, I'm not going to say what diamonds I have though because they have not been shown. Oh, okay. I've I've caught two diamonds uh, just fishing with Brobra, so nice. And I one of them was pretty the... shocking. It was an eel. Uh, yes, an eel. Or, or e an eagle? It was an eagle. No. It was an eagle that was catching the eel that I hooked. That would be sh shocking. <laughs> I, um, I, I get it, but no. Here's the thing. Huh. It'd be electric. I... Gosh, such an electric experience. So electric and majestic. I want a soggy boy so bad. A soggy boy? Same. Mm-hmm. Diamond Soggy Boy. Family friendly stream. I mean, what if we just go out in the middle of the <laughs> lake down here and just start fishing? I have no idea yeah, yeah, yeah. what I is in this it. lake, so. Let's just, let's just go right, uh, right out here. Lock yeah, like right in the middle right of the big lake. I know Sauger The big like lake to the shallow. south. Shallow. Oh, like further like south? Yeah, like yeah. Like yeah. past the That's bridge. That's where the Sauger are. They That's but are they in the shallow. very center? That's the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I was. I was. My boat was surrounded by them in the center of that, the big part yeah. of the lake. Hey, DT, how's it going, dude? Pick Brobra out, Caitlin. We might have to. He's on Brobra the learned the Sauger ways from me. Oh, he did, Ben. I didn't ben, know that. Ben, See, Ben taught um, you everything, it seems. Hey, Scale. Hey, Lucas. Hey, Carson. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, Clager. Hey, Keaton. That lake Grand is crazy for man. Pike. Definitely going to have to see if we can get some then. So what do we need for Sauger? Uh, spinners worked good for me. Yeah, I think spinners I, were what I was using. Size 6, crankbait. If, and that's straight from the bin's mouth. I do have some cranks on me, so. Size six cranks? Okay. I think I have fives. We're cranking. 
We'll be cranking Let's see. This is a 15 pound setup approximately. I think I have some cranks. I have a five and a two and a one aught. I'll use the five. How do you see your red deer kill count? You can't. Unfortunately, you have to keep manual track of any specific species in the hunter. Codex, total total kills, total harvest. I just, just estimate check, during check my that. grinds. Or just estimate. Yeah, I kind of round it off. Like, I know approximately how many red deer I can kill per, like, per lake. And so depending on which lakes I've gone to in like an hour or two hours or however long it may be, I just uh, estimate from that. Yeah, and then double it. <laughs> Can't double it. <laughs> Panda, thank you for the um, two months, dude. Really appreciate it. And Joshua, thank you for the super chat. Who let Scarecrow drive? I'm not driving, I promise. It's not me I'm this driving. time. It's hey, Kill man, Clinton. You got a problem with my driving? I mean, the boat I, is I half underwater, so. Yeah, better than all the way under the water. When Scarecrow drives. Hey, uh, just because I want to do some backflips doesn't mean I'm a bad driver. I, this is a fishing game, not a swimming game. Please do not let Scarecrow drive. What? No, that's just rude. It's true. We should play. We should play Flight Simulator one day. Oh gosh. As long as he's. Hey, right, you want to just travel. uh, you want to just anchor up right here and do some traveling. Cast a line. See what sure. we can get in the depths of little, whatever little this further. lake's name is. There's definitely going to be Sauger in here. Want to go fish around the lake. buoy? Yeah, go kind of close to the buoy. As a fish, I live by right a buoy. Here, right here, right here. I like it. I like it. All right. Let's do it. Ooh, beautiful. Up we yeah, go. Let's see. I got to switch up what I'm using here. Boy, seeing these views. Right, I'm going to switch over to the... Oh, looks like I'm stuck on the front of the boat. Okay, that's fine. Floral. I like this spot anyway. Uh, DT, thank you for the super chat, dude. No, Sir Joshua. Hey, now. We're not going to get any competitions going in here, all right? You guys are both great. Okay. What size really spinner baits do you rack in? Five? Uh, probably. Three? I use like a five most of the time. Five or Try a seven five. would probably work for them. All right, I'm just going to try this crankbait. See how this crank works. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm gonna try this. We'll try this. We'll be able to compare. We'll see what's what's getting more. Exactly. Whoa, bites. man! You just putting your fishing rod in my camera like that? Jeez. So I got a new fit. Trying look to block at this my crank. vision. Look, look at the bait casting rod. Holy, holy, that's nice. He's trying to crank up a Goliath fish. So I bought I bought the best. I didn't have any bait casting setup whatsoever, and I went I went straight to the best rod and the best reel <laughs> that you can get. Chase. <laughs> Pretty awesome. I've got that on me too, but I, I reserve that for the lake trout. Ooh. <laughs> what kind of line are you guys using? I am using 15 pound fluoro. Nice. Okay. I'm using 11 pound fluoro. Ooh, I, think I see a catfish for... surfacing. 44 Sorry, pound really? fluoro. Or is that? Wait, is that? I can't actually tell what that is. Fluoro? Oh, yeah. What is that? Oh, my see gosh. It. <laughs> Vinok, Wait, thank you for the seeing, super chat, dude. We must dude. be seeing different fish. We must be seeing different fish. Oh yeah, it's it's client side. Fish are client side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so different. everybody has different fish, so you can't spook each other's, which is nice. It's very uh, nice. Yeah. Vinok, thank you it's for the nice. super chat, dude. R.I.P. Joshua. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, Joshua, thank you for the super chat too, dude. Try me. I just love supporting you, man. Well, thank you, dude. I really appreciate that. Really appreciate it. Number seven spinnerbaits OP. Mm, okay, I might switch. Oh my gosh, DT. Dude. My gosh. <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> oh my gosh. That is ridiculous. Dude, that is just, that's insane. That is just so incredibly overly generous. I really appreciate that, man. I really appreciate that so much. Thank you so, so much. That is incredible. Thank you for that crazy super chat, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hopefully you've been having a fantastic day and, like, really enjoying the live stream so far. Really appreciate that crazy support. That is just unheard of levels of insanity. <laughs> Max weight estimate red fox track? Oh, no, Johnny. 
This is the beginning of the end for you. Oh gosh. This is the beginning of the end. Man, I wish we could fish right-handed. I mean, this is how I fish in real life, so... I fish right-handed. I fish the other way, right-handed. I mean, this, this is, is right-handed. You're holding the fishing rod, which is, like, the thing that requires the most strength. That's... No, we've... I've... the, the Me and my people, <laughs> we always refer to the, the <laughs> hand that you're sp uh, spinning with. This would be oh. left-handed. Why... Well, I don't know. When I'm when I'm reeling in like a big Chinook, I feel like if my left hand is holding the rod, that's like not nearly as a strong of an arm to be pulling in the fish. Like I oh, mean, I guess totally I could see if you are For if both you're the left handed. Rod and the real like I, I'm right handed, but I fish and shoot left handed, so Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Oh wait, so you use the your left hand on the trigger? Yeah. I shoot oh, left handed. Wow. Yeah, so you shoot and fish left. Yep, it's most people I know sports, uh, fish left-handed with spinning reels and then right-handed with bait casting. In, in sports, I'm left with everything. Baseball, golf, hockey. But then with, like, f with fishing and shooting. Is this a golden trout? I can't tell. Right. I think that I think there's a big golden trout in front of me. Boring. Is it going <laughs> for my Joshua, lure? Joshua, thank you for the super chat, Joshua. Thank you so much, man. How you doing? Good to see you. Appreciate the support. What, what part of the map are you fishing at? I'll show you in just a sec, Death Onion. Death Onion, there's a name. Death by is Onion. This, I think this might be a diamond white fish, actually. Is this? Oh, really? That'd be cool. That's this cool. thing That's looks a, huge, whatever it is. I'm about to cool toss catch. four pound tackle out, so. This will be interesting. Um, oh, it's going for of, it. Part of the map, it's right going here. for it. <laughs> right Come in there. on. Right there. Is this? Oh my gosh, I think it is. It's a white fish. Are you kidding me? A big one? Ah, oh, three pound gold. Hmm. Holy. I'm That's crazy. We'll use that. We'll use size eight. Three pounds is a good one, I think. I'm pretty sure three pounds is a decent white fish. Oh, rest in pieces, DT. <laughs> Nightbot gotcha. Do you guys go two speed or one speed? I've been doing. I've been going one speed. I always go one speed, no matter what yeah, I'm doing. Like two's a little too fast. Mm -hmm. A lot of two times, is... I'll like crank it to the max, rip the line in about halfway, and then go down to one speed. You shoot pool left, Caitlin. Yeah, I shoot pool left. Everything sports, it's always left. The only fish that I found that can hit on a straight two is a big, big lake trout. Everything else, you have to pop it down to a one. Oh, there we go. Another fish on. This uh, lighter rod is the only thing I'm catching fish on at the moment. This oh, wow, light rod with the uh, spinnerbait. The size 8 spinnerbait. Just white fish smoking it. I'm not getting any bites on the spinnerbait yet. Uh, what's your line weight? 11. I'm using 4-pound line. Oh, really? Yeah, it's the only thing I'm getting the white fish to bite on. They wouldn't bite on the uh, uh, 15 pound line that I had. They're mm. they're really only going for the light stuff. I want sauger though. Are we have we caught anything else here yet other than the, the white fish? So far, just white fish. That's all I've seen mm. hit the surface. That's all I've caught. I would imagine a lot of the other fish are pretty deep down. Weird. Okay. I might try for lake trout here, I wonder. Ah, uh, maybe. I don't know if they'll be down in the desert. Yeah. Uh, let me check, DT. I think it deleted before I could see it. Oh, uh, yeah, it's not too bad for the beginning of your grind. That's about where the diamonds should be if you're only Mason. 500 in. Mason, my man, I've already answered you on your spamming. You're spamming that. There's no release date for console yet, my man. Hopefully soon. And we didn't order canned spam. No, this isn't a spam that. type of day. We want lunch meat, not spam. Mmm, lunch meat. We wanted the roast beef and we got the spam. Uh, Joshua, thank you for another super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Not trying to outdo you, DT. Hope everyone is doing good tonight. Hey, I'm I'm doing great, man. I'm having fun. And I hope you guys are having fun as well. Thank you, Ian. Thanks. Ooh, somebody hook a fish? No, I just threw a lure out that was so big. I 
I thought it was a American <laughs> Levi. Gotcha. Dude, it Except hit the surface so hard. <laughs> ping pong, I'm right. I can't use my left at all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think we should go hunt uh, fish somewhere. Hunt somewhere else. Let's go hunt some yeah. fish somewhere else. I'm <laughs> thinking maybe we need to go find some like uh, some structures to fish around. Like maybe that Ooh. bridge over there. Never mind. I just got a bite. Uh, um, DT, thank you for the super chat too, dude. Really appreciate it. Yeah, hope y'all are having a good night. Hey, we're having oh, a great night, fish. man. It's 276 feet deep right here. Oh yeah, it's it's really deep. I I don't think we're gonna be catching anything that is super deep in this area. I mean, we don't exactly have the tackle that can go super deep, unless we want to just have it sink right below us and then reel straight up. I mean, I could try that. I'll toss out the big spoon. But thank you guys so much once again. Oh, you just make it okay. Hey, <laughs> what you guys Dude, doing? I didn't, know I, could, I didn't know I could drive with you on the front of the boat. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is great. I don't think I'm that's going, supposed I'm to going, happen that way. Well, it put my exact... fishing rod away. I'm gonna go to I'm the exact. Oh, did chilling. it put it away automatically? I'm gonna go yeah. to the exact spot where I was catching a ton of sager, which is like right up here. Okay, perfect. Uh, Vinok, thank you for the super chat too, dude. Really appreciate it. You guys are insane. Right you guys right are amazing. Here. Hey Ben, how's it going? All right, can, can can I pull my fishing rod out? Yes, I can. There we go. All right, beautiful. Whip it out, man. 165 right. feet. Still Holy. pretty deep here. Jeez. Yeah. Maybe I'll let the lure sink a bit then. I was out here fishing and I had Sagar surrounding my boat. Ooh, I, I just saw a fish really surface. Really? Yeah. Well. There's definitely got, fish in the area. I got a new thing you guys can send to the devs. There's definitely fish in the oh, air. Oh, no. What happened? Can't get out of my Smell seat. It. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, what? Well. Ripping um, pieces. Yeah, we yeah, might have to go ears. to the shore. I see fish surfacing about 150 feet away from the boat, like in the direction of the shore over there. Oh, really? I saw at least three fish surface. Could be oh, quite a few over a fish there. fish for my line. I think it's a sauger. Nice. We can hope. Come on. Can I use Get slightly it. lighter tackle? That might be the Here play. Go. Got him. Nice, fish nice on. fish on. Uh, that's a white fish, I think. Is it a white fish? Yeah. Yeah, it's a silver white fish. Dang. Nice. I think we might need to get a little closer to shore to get the sauger, because okay, I see a bunch it. of fish surfacing over there. Okay. Doing it. All, All right. right, let's drive out of here. <laughs> yep, I'm still on the front. Beautiful. Oh. Oh my gosh, bro, bro. did you fast travel? I did, yes. Okay, I, I was gonna I was, say if you just disappear, that is a problem. Uh, Alright, yeah, right was, here. Might have actually gone too far. You think? I'll just cast uh, uh I'll just I'll just cast back. Soggy boys love this. Is that challenge. you in the boat? Yeah. Okay, I thought so. It's gonna say I see somebody coming right for us in the boat. Oh, I got skipped frames notification. Oh, I get those all the time and it's it's not actually skipping for me. Okay. I've How's got eight look, skipped frames notifs and it's still running smooth. I just realized I'm using Streamlabs instead of Streamlabs uh, OBS Studio, I mean. For uh, the Angler, I've been using OBS Studio. How's it look, guys? Lag for anyone else? Wow. Uh-oh. Crap. Hey, bro, bro. You're doing good. What's the biggest lake trout you've gotten so far? I got a 34.7 pounder, like literally. That's literally the same as mine. Didn't we get those same night? Yeah, well, yours was 34.3, but yeah, it's essentially the exact same. We got them back to back. Um, Yeah, I think 30, Pretty incredible. Like, what, 30, 35 is diamond kind of thing, you think? Like it was so probably so close to diamond. Yeah, 30 around 35 is diamond from what I've seen. Approximately. Yeah, these fish are not wanting the spinners at all. So I'm wondering if I should go to a popper. Maybe a size four popper will be a good good option here. Maybe. Try different stuff, I guess. Yeah, uh, I do like fishing around this little uh ledge right here though. There's a big drop off. Good chance some fish might be around there. Around see, there. On, on your stream there, Crow, I, I think I I think I left my clothes on Casey's what boat, the? so if you could Bring those uh, over to me, that'd be great. Oh, I was on a five speed. Why was I on a five speed? 
Oh, I see a pike. The good pike. It's not YouTube servers, Death Onion. It's uh, Streamlabs. And everybody's leaving. Oh, there we gosh. go, pike on. Oh, he's Sorry, ripping guys. online. It's not YouTube, guys. It's, it's me, it's Streamlabs. If you have to, you can restart and switch over to OBS if you need to, dude. I might have to. We'd rather you have right. a smooth stream. Yeah, guys, so I'm gonna I'm gonna switch over to OBS Studio. I'll be back up in about three minutes and then there won't be lag anymore. I forgot that I need to use uh Do you wanna let them know, Crow? I think my audio is lagging too. Uh no audio is fine when it does that. It's like they can't hear me. Because it'll be delayed, but the audio will be fine. From what, from my experience, at least, the issues that I was running t into with dropped frames, the video would freeze, but the audio was fine for me. Alright, I'll be back, guys. Come on. Darn, that was like a record amount of viewers for I me. I later, Bentley. Too. Of course. <laughs> Unfortunate, dude. Yeah. Very unfortunate. Did you see my uh, my stream title? <laughs> 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 we are tackling the angler multiplayer with Kill Clinton and Brobra. <laughs> oh man, I was pretty proud of that one when I came up with it. I was like, man, I actually thought of a good fish pun for this uh, for this stream. Gosh, this pike is fighting like crazy. This is what I get for using my uh, like 13 pound setup or whatever it is. That means this is a big pike. Joshua, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it, man. You've been incredibly kind and overly generous tonight, and I really do appreciate that. <laughs> what? You guys can't tell me that you don't like that fish pun, you know? Everybody loves a good fish pun. Oh, you got um, a pike on too. Nice, dude. Yeah, it's I'm in the red on a 44 pound line. Oh no! Oh oh gosh, that's a giant. Oh. We have giants on at the same time, though. Mine's probably just a silver because. Uh, oh oh, I'm at the end of my I'm at the end of my line. Oh no. This is 44 pound line and a 44 pound rod. Oh gosh, I'm using an no. ultralight like. 15 pound rod, so <laughs> um, this can't go well. There's no no world where this goes well. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's massive. Are you nice, seeing this? Nice, dude. All right, Fisher, uh, no worries, dude. Oh, he just uh, nobody my knows, Red Fox. Nobody knows when it'll come out on console, sadly. This dude is bigger than my arm. Dude, that's pretty insane. <laughs> Look at that beast of a pike. Is that going to be a diamond? Gold. Are you kidding me? Are 17 kidding pounds? Me? Oh my god. Is it 17 pounds? It's 16. That's still uh, good, dude. That's still big. That is big. That's my that's my new best. Bigger than the one that Ben got me. How about that, Ben? Um, Ben, I <laughs> I've got the 44 pound uh, spinner rod, the heaviest reel you can get, and then the size three spinner bait. Jeez. I guess uh, big lures are for big fish. I guess they are. I mean, the biggest diamond pike that I caught in early access, like both the diamond pike were when I tossed out a lure that was larger than normal. Okay, we're finally under 100 feet again. I'm fish. Dark clouds, thank you for the 25 months. My gosh, that is insane. 25 months as a member. That is ridiculous. I, I'm not exactly familiar with the name, so I'm assuming you've changed it recently. That's Oh, it's David. Of course it's it is. David. It's David. How you doing, David? <laughs> Appreciate the super chat, dude. Ligma. No. No Ligma. <laughs> How you doing though, man? It's good to see All you. Alright, we're back. David just showed up in my chat. 
Oh, nice. David's here. And Cannon, how's it going, man? Thank you for the super chat as well. David's been a member for 25 months. That is just insane. 25 oh months. I've got a fish right One of the very me. few rainbow badges in chat. 25 is wild. Oh, wow, you've got rainbow badges. Yeah, mine are just a couple months away. Nice, dude, nice. Well, my, my gold badge is this. All right, we've finally got this Hi, fish David. down to 50 up, feet. How you doing? Just got home from work. Nice, dude. Nice. We've been having a blast, man. Just fishing out here on the lake, trying to catch some big fish. I, I gotta say, like, some of these, uh, these angler multiplayer streams are some of my favorite. Just so enjoyable. Missed water. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, that happens if the cast is gonna go onto land or hit a structure. Not. You're just too jacked, Casey. You're just know. launching. Them. Yeah, man. Ebron, thank you for the two months, dude. How long have I had this fish on? Like five minutes, I think. Welcome back, guys. Thanks for rejoining. Sorry about the lag. Sorted. No, Blue Lee. Sadly, it's not on console yet. Once there's a release date, we will let you guys know. Come on, man. This fish is so close. It's a good pike. I don't think it's going to be as big as yours, bro, bro, because uh, I am using very light tackle. Uh, as yeah. far as I know, it did, KW. I checked on it earlier. It did, I actually added the second floor to the base, and uh, we were all good. So I'll check again after this stream. Oh, oh man. man. Yeah, oh, yeah this, is a, wrong, this is a Grant. silver, probably. <laughs> if you think it's 16 months, it's 16 months. Sometimes it's, it hasn't updated. Maybe a gold. Thanks, Cancer. Got a 35-pound ah, trout, but it was only a gold. A 35-pounder, but only a gold. Oh, my gosh, really? Ooh. Yeah, I don't know what the requirement is or how that works, but that's definitely close. What do I have on my third rod? Okay, so 15-pound line. All right. Spaghetti. Yeah, spaghetti, exactly. I was going to say the same thing. I'm thinking rod number four is going to have to be the one. I'll have to use my 28-pound setup for these pike. Spaghetti. 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 Is it just whitefish in here? No, there's pike. Tons of pike. Oh. There's bass too. Yeah, but the what pike are, are absolutely pike smoking again? the poppers right now. The poppers, right. Also, yeah, I'm yeah, using a size four. Also spinner baits. Over. Yeah, size four popper, size two spinner bait is what we just caught ours on. Definitely gonna go popper. Ooh, I don't have a Yeah, size Brober two, got a, a sixteen pounder. Was it fifteen or sixteen? One of those on the uh, size two spinner bait. Nice. Oh, that worked for a silver? I know, right? That just shows how important it is to get the proper tackle. That was my Grand. ultralight setup. Yeah, Graham, we've been streaming Rust on Twitch uh, every night for the past few nights. We got a good thing going. Oh, this is weird. I guess I'm casting uh, bro, all bro, over please there. put some clothes on, man. Oh, thanks. What are you doing over there? I asked you to bring them back. Passed right over, Crow. I left them on Casey's boat. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, Jay, how's it going, dude? Right over your shoulder, Crow. It's all good. Hey. Yeah, it's fine. Got a bite. Get a screenshot of that and me holding a very tiny hey, pike with you in the background. Two Open pound pike. Cuff. That is a giant. <laughs> a two pounder. Hey, okay, let's just... I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast that way now. How about that? Oh, nice. I can see your pretty face. Are you spin hey, casting? Thank you, man. Nice. Yes. This is the, uh, the highest spinning rod, the 28 pounder. Yeah, that's I got that one. Nice. Yeah, I, I find it to it. be perfect size for pike. Like the big ones still give a decent fight, but not twenty minutes long fights. I said right. four. So I, I find I it to be pretty good. Oh, you have the twenty eight. Gotcha. That's okay. the exact setup I'm using right now. Hey, crow scare. Yeah, I like it. Here, welcome. Sometimes, sometimes I know JR. numbers. Sometimes I don't know numbers. <laughs> yeah, for sure, Jr. Hey, bronze goat. You missed. <laughs> Ooh, this is a okay. This one's putting up a little bit of a fight. Might be a, another ten or twelve pounder. Oh, that actually maybe a little bit bigger. It took out a little bit of line for a second. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Probably like 13, 14 pounds. I will be happy if it's a fifteen pounder though. Fine. Nice, you're hooked into one. Okay, Finally. keep it on. And, or I'm going to keep myself in the uh, trophy screen and wait for you to reel it in so I can get a picture of both of our fish. Oh, it's coming right in. 
It's a pike. Nice, 10 pounds silver. Ah, oh, you're slightly too far. I uh -huh. should, I need to be facing the other direction for Just you to be in the background. Yeah, gotcha. mine was 11 pounds. Oh, yeah, so I, on the, the four, the I four, think we the both need to cast like, you see the, the little like, uh, the, the land of the shore? If we cast like the right to the, the edge, the land of the shore, yes, the little like uh, the 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 right most right, point of you. the shoreline, yeah, that's yep. where I'm cast right now. If we angle that direction, we should be like perfectly in the screenshot. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, Bronze Go. This game's a ton of fun. Tons of fun. Oh yeah, it's a blast. Come on, fishies. They actually that actually bit on the number four popper. I didn't think it. Yeah, that's what I'm would. using. Number four popper is what I've caught the two eleven pounders on. But yeah, even the small ones will bite it. The big ones will too. It's a good like a good size to catch every type of pike. Nice. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Ah, this one's definitely not as big. Definitely a smaller fish. Ah, oh, he's so cute. 2.85 pounds. Amazing. <laughs> tiny. Little tiny, dude. Tiny little guy. That's bait. Keep that for bait. Ah, you're right. Uh, right here, Angel. Like, this area right Catch here whale with is pretty good for bluegill. Blue whale. This little stretch of the river along the shore, and also this stretch. Actually, I take that back. This has been my best bluegill area. Right in this little stretch of river next to this fast travel location and around where this red road is. Like, well, this area is there. great for bluegill. I could do a little bluegill fishing. I've only ever caught yeah, one. Yeah, we got to go up to the, uh, the, the thing. I'll fast travel okay. over there, and then you can meet me over in that area. Okay. You should have the fast travel location. Oh. Oh, yeah. I got that. Yeah, this area is pretty good for the bluegill. Okay, bye. There's also a decent amount of bass here, too. Nice. Um, And then for bluegill... Cranky? I use size 8 spinnerbait. Spinner? Okay. Yeah, the default one that you start with, that spinner bait's pretty good for them. Okay, sweet. What's diamond for bluegill? Icon. I don't actually know. Ooh, that's a... Oh, no. I'm about to have a big bass bite on the lightest tackle I have. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's a big fish. Oh, I I got it in, though. I'm going to use uh, not even a gold. spinner bait. I'm going to try that first. Five pounds. Uh, what, David? What is it, my dudes? LKC, I saw his new video. Or, wait. Video. Oh, that was Cantor's video. Yeah, she made a compilation. <laughs> what did you think, David? Pretty funny, eh? Oh, that was Kathy that said that. Oh, gotcha. It's 90 degrees in your house because the AC fried. Oh, no. There are small smallmouth. Yeah, I haven't even caught a small smallmouth uh, bass yet. Not a single one. Oh, I kind of know the area they are. We could go for some smallmouth if you want to. There's also a really good, good. kokanee spot that I like to fish. Oh, I haven't caught one of those either. Dude, I found a spot last night where there was like five or six yeah, of them in that? view at once. I haven't been able to catch Something a coconut salmon at night very well. Yeah, they don't like the nighttime. Oh, take the bait. Take the bait. Oh, what? Oh, it jumped out of the water. Take the bait. Maybe it doesn't want it. What the? Oh, it's going for it. It's too slow. Went hunting in Arizona for quail and dove. It was lots of fun. Nice, dude. That's awesome. I could go for a little bit of a uh, little bit of quail hunting right now. There we go. I got a perch. 
One pound yellow perch. Beautiful. Oh, this might be a perch, actually. It probably is. That's what I just snagged into. It's hanging out right at KC, my... KC, man, you forgot your clothes in the boat. What? Like, I know you didn't want to get them wet when you uh, in, in, inevitably screen. flipped the boat from your driving, but, you know, you got to put them back on once you leave the boat. Dude, I can't reel any slower than this. You do you, my guy. I support um, you. Just flip back in immediately after it after it reels in. Like, it'll still be interested. If it's interested now, it should still be. I saw a bluegill or a very small bass jump over here as well. Oh, looking like it's a small bass. I need a little silver perch, boy. Yeah. Nice. Get that bait. Know, man. That's yours. That's yours, Thanks, baby. Oh my gosh, a juvenile largemouth bass. Incredible. Point Dude, eighty three no. pounds. No. I what don't a know what monster. But this guy won't take it. He'll hang out around my around the end of the line, but he won't take it. Gosh, that's if my unfortunate. Bait's too big. I'm using size eight. All right, guys, I got an idea, but I'm gonna need you all to go over to where oh, Brober is. The smallest come on, I KC, have. let's go. I want this fish. Or Brober, come here then. Yeah, honestly, it's better to stay here anyway because we got the uh, the train tracks in the background. I want us all to stand side by side. That way, whenever we catch a fish, we can all be in the picture. That's so cute. My retrieve. I know, right? It's, it's friggin' adorable. Oh, I've got it set to one chip. Is my face in the way of that? Whoops. You guys are quite the pair. You're no cool. Are we lined up side by side perfectly? No. Especially I wonder if now. I could change that. Let's see. What about now? No, oh, oh. he ran away. Oh my gosh, what a nerd. Flip. Can I flip my face the other way? Is that a thing? What is up with that fishing line, huh? It's just a random fishing line. Mm. That's definitely not intended. That's actually a spider web. Flip oh, really, Crow Scare? That's wild. Uh, it's a bug that there's that they currently have in the game, uh, Toxicity. Unfortunately, sometimes when you go. fast travel, clothing does not render. How about that? All right. Everybody, yeah. uh, resume your positions. We're trying to line up side by side. Now we can catch oh. that bass that just jumped. Ah, uh, oh, pro, bruh. Yeah, really? Uh, I mean, we can fish from there, I guess. That's gonna make for better screenshots anyway, right? Uh, how do you how do you make this? Wait, do you do you walk along it? Obviously, one of us oh. is Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible, and one of us is not. Oh, I, I think I figured out how you do oh. it. Oh, oh, here we go. Whoa, it's, yeah, it's not easy. Oh, yeah, you definitely have to walk along the front side, though. Oh, oh. I see. Yep, this is... Oh, nope, 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 nope. Um... Hey, I figured it out. All right. Object blocking the cast. He can't be on the set. I mean, Brobra just oh. caught a fish from here. No, other side, <laughs> I mean. Okay, keep uh -oh. that fish out. I'm going to try and All catch right. one now. This will be a killer screenshot. It's if we can make this work. The bronze. Can I get a bigger one? No, 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 no. We don't know if we're going to catch anymore. It's becoming nighttime. Oh. Uh, I just want to get one fish. Just one uh, fish. Okay, okay. Oh, this is going to be perfect, too. I think we're lined up perfectly for this. <laughs> we just need to all catch a fish. Exactly, toxicity. Exactly. Now we got your good side. It's the same side. For real? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Caitlin. David, is your area code 505? Because I just got a random text message that is not family friendly. <laughs> I feel like David got oh my phone my number gosh. somehow. <laughs> wow. Creepy. Imagine. This is a random number. Very not family appropriate. They know that we're streaming. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think some something sold all my data. Probably. That, that seems about right. But it was Casey. But it was. I don't think anybody wants to uh, <laughs> bite onto this bait that I'm using. Hmm. I'll take a nibble. Throw my way. <laughs> yeah. Let me get a hot, seems let me about get a hot right. dog on there for you. 
Dog. Glizzy. <laughs> you guys familiar with the term? Oh glizzy? my gosh. I've seen it in my streams. I don't know what the heck it means, though. I think it means a hot it's dog. It's a gun. And what? I'm pretty yeah. sure it's a hot dog. No. A, gl a glizzy no. is like a hand a handgun or something. I'm pretty cool. Like, I think I'm pretty hip, if you know what I'm saying. I think yeah, I, definitely. I get it. A glizzy is a hot dog. I'm like 99% sure. Chat will know. Really needs you to focus and catch a, catch a fish? That is impossible, sir. Bro, bra. So I did used to have a viewer named Glizzy Gladiator, and his profile picture was hot dogs. Holy. <laughs> See? So. <laughs> sure I didn't want to give you the satisfaction, up. but it's true. Wait, there you go. See that? Where's all the fish, man? I don't know. I'd switch to poppers. I'm just... I don't know what to do at this point. Oh, we gotta we catch go... something. Everybody go saying... Glizzy equals hot dog. Look at chat. I think we should go lake trail fishing. No. <laughs> hey, no. Well, as, as some as somebody who listens to exclusively rap, when they say glizzy, they don't mean Listen, a hot dog. I can tell you that. Shit. Oh we'll yeah, see. it's probably got double meanings. It's. Um, I was using the the size eight chip. Maybe I need a different one. I could try you the guys five. Are so slow at catching fish. Hey man, it's not my fault that it's nighttime. Funny. Someone, someone said there were bluegill in here. Yeah, there <laughs> is. <laughs> Pick news. They're very picky, though. I've noticed. Actually, yeah, this is where that, um, this is where the mission is, right? You get one off the bridge. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it is. They're here after that as well, though. I've caught one, a few here the since then. Caught. Actually, maybe that's why there were so many Sauger. I was doing the Sauger mission when all those Sauger were out there. Yep, that that's exactly why. Oh, whoopsie. Oh, now I feel terrible. I actually <laughs> I told a couple other content creators that's where the Sauger were. Oh, I see a fish. I feel terrible. Ooh. I don't think I can reach it, but we'll there try to catch bait, it. Bronze goat. There is live bait, yeah. Um, It's not really... Not, uh, I don't think a lot of people use it. I mean, I, I definitely don't. No, it's no, it's it's glizzy as well, Jaden. I use the lures. Guys, there's nothing in here. I'm going late trout fishing. Oh wow, bro! I don't, I don't think your your plan is is working here. Hey man, I saw a fish, and like, if it don't bite, that's on him. I don't know if it what is. What kind of live bait? There's um, blood worms, bread, hot dog. Um, what else is there? What else is there, guys? You got a live bait? I, I live or no, to be honest. Well, I like, haven't seen any live bait. Yeah, for live bait, yeah, worms, worms, and leeches, I think, are the only two actually. And then you've leeches? got there's like food and stuff. There's no grasshoppers, yeah, there's leeches. Need grasshoppers in the game. That's my favorite live bait. You yeah, that, li that live bait bread, you know. Yeah, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I misunderstood the question. <laughs> it's the uh, gluten that gives I'm it old. a sp spark of it's, life. It's the gluten that's messing with my brain. Glutony, it's all that gluten. It's all that macaroni and cheese I ate today. Oh, uh, my wife made homemade mac and cheese the same night you made homemade mac and cheese. Can you believe oh, that? Oh, really? Dude, mm -hmm. I still have so much left, and I've already eaten so much of it. Yeah, we had a lot, too. And you know what she did for me? It was really romantic. She put pumpkin puree in there because I've been very constipated recently, and it's got a lot of fiber. Oh, good. Help my help my flow become a little bit more regular. You know what I'm saying? Oh, excellent. That's not nearly too much information. So I thank yeah. you very much for sharing that. Well, you're welcome. Appreciate that. I thought need a little need a little pumpkin pie. Need a little metamucil. Yeah, I mean, just yeah. um, you know, you got to keep the romance alive somehow. You know, Spinach. we've been married for almost a year, so. Yeah, it says it says it right here. Glizzy can mean hot dog or a gun or another still, thing we've just we've already settled this i was hey worried. i ain't settling it until y'all know <laughs> that it does mean a gun <laughs> bro we'll scarecrow's see. always right everybody hey man, <laughs> i don't everybody. i don't think it would be a hot dog if if like rappers are saying they're gonna pull up to your house oh, with oh, a glizzy rappers. i'm pulling up yeah. with a hot dog rappers. man yeah, get like you a, a plate. You know what I'm saying? Like, like a hamburger it's, wrapper? It's a cookout, <laughs> get, dude. Yeah. <laughs> get you a plate, my guy. Come on, man. Easy. That's easy money. <laughs> Where were we lake trail fishing last Definitely. time? Definitely. It was two, that one lake, and then there was a small lake beside it. Where was that? 
Remember? You guys remember that? What are you talking we about? A, we were at a really good lake for uh, lake trout. Yeah, it's like top left. Oh, were yeah. we right up in the top left? Yep. Oh, I'm going there. You guys suck. I'm out of here. All right. Wow, All right, well, what I'm, a I'm nerd. Rid of this fish. <laughs> I've been sitting here with this fish in my hand. It's dead now. It's suffocated in the air because Crow I, I, maybe hold it for a picture and the picture never happened and the, and the fish died. Oh, terrible. And the fish went bad? Yeah. <laughs> well, terrible. he's dead, so you could say he went bad. Well, that's one way okay. to Okay, yes, yes, Duxton, it does, but it also can be a can gun. Be a personal best like that's trout. That's what I'm saying is that, sure, it can be those, what but it's also, it's also a gun as well. I so, love you guys. You guys are the best, you, chat. What if you made a gun out of a hot dog? Then what? What would I you mean, call that? Sure. A hot glizzy. I mean, I wouldn't want to pull up to my op's house with a with a hot dog, but that's just me. That, would that be a glizzy Glock? <laughs> glizzy. Oh, is that what they? It, oh, okay, okay. So like, yeah. Where are you taking me? I don't know. Wherever you guys let me take you. You know where the Lake Trout are. Tread are. Take, take us to the special spot. Oh yeah, we were we were fishing off the island last time. That's right. Let's go. Let's hit that deep water. That's a rock. That's a rock. That's a rock. Should we go to deeper water? Uh, yeah, exactly. Kill comp. Yeah, Kill comp. That's water. what I was saying. Like that. That's what I'm saying. It's not just a hot dog. We're not okay. It really depends on like the the way that it's yeah. used. Just like any word. All right, yeah, you can make, you can make any word in anything you want. You really get can. Rod going. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's it's like Here a handgun. Like you just said, a Glock. What do you guys put in your hot dogs? Uh, I do mm. either ketchup and mustard or ketchup, mustard, and relish. Yeah, I like all the things. Like all available. the things in the stuff. Onions, like sauerkraut. Anybody? Onions? Sour I do like onions. I do like onions, sauerkraut. I like caramelized onions on mine. Caramelized onions are good. I like the raw ones. Though. I like a little crunch in there. Sometimes you got to have chili cheese dogs, though, you know? Depends on the mood, though. Sometimes, oh, exactly. even better even better than relish, dice up some pickle real small. It's even better. Completely plain? Oof. The Completely only hot dog that... I, okay, the only so one so that bad. I could... <laughs> the only one that I could ever eat completely plain, and even then it would be a stretch, is um, the, like, jalapeno cheese dogs. I can eat those without anything on them, but oh, I, see, I still yeah. put ketchup and mustard on them most of the time. Even better, just a regular hot dog with a bunch of oh, dude. And diced jalapenos on them. You know what the greatest hot dogs I've ever had are? At what? least the greatest store-bought hot dogs. Um, I forgot the brand, say, but say, it was say, like say it, it was like uh, say, say it slowly <laughs> when you tell me. It was like white cheddar and caramelized onions. Dang. So good. That sounds sounds dude. Real good. Yeah, fried them up on the stove in some butter. So good. So, talking. so good. Mm -hmm. I do like some steamed hot dogs. Those are yeah, nice. That does sound good, Sid. That does sound C -c 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 -combo good. Combo breaker. You guys ever had... Well, I know... Well, no, you guys haven't. There's something called Freddy's Fry Sauce. It's from a, a restaurant called Freddy's, and it's like... um, It's almost like an In-N-Out sauce. Dijon a little fried bit chip, nice. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's incredibly good. I, I love oh, that man. on hot dogs. Nice. Too. Any like hot dog stand, you know, where they're barbecuing them up there and they're doing Smokies and stuff. Those guys, they, like, they know what they're doing. You're gonna get dude. Little Smokies are good so dog. good. Oh, I know. Like, oh, banana peppers are good on hot dogs. I do like banana peppers. Dude, I speaking of banana onions. peppers, we found like an insane deal on some banana peppers recently. Oh, really? Yeah, we went to like the bulk section in Walmart, show, right? The and there out, was like a whole on a whole giant, you know, like how a normal shout size jar Walmart. would be of uh, like sliced banana peppers. Shout them out, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you know, it's not super huge, like, Hashtag you know, Walmart an average size jar. And yeah, it's yeah. usually average like three or four jar. bucks, right? Right. Well, we, they had a jar that was like five times that big, and it was only like eight dollars. Five times that big, only how much? Eight dollars, like $8 seven eighty-four or something. $8. It was insane. Dollars. I was like, Limited oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Walmart. They also had they also had a giant jar of dill pickles. 
It was like the Giant. it was like it was like four jars in one, and it was okay, only ten bucks. Four jars in one dill pickle. How much? Nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. You guys. Nine 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 Hashtag deal pickles, hashtag hopping out of papers, link in the description. <laughs> limited time, limited, li limited time only, guys. Anyway, fishing. Hashtag oh, the is Rover streaming? Pro. No, he's not, thankfully. Limited, limited time the exact only. same thing this, they're streaming, but different. Yes, yeah, the angler same. stream brought you, brought you by Walmart. Get in now for, <laughs> anyway. Most people oh, don't guess like what, hopping guys? out of peppers. My uh, my my new PC finally shipped. They finally finished piecing it together. Nice. They they, pie piece? they pieced it together. And it, it it's it's three days shipping, so it should be here before Sunday, hopefully. Three Otherwise, I'll have to wait till Monday to get now it. Now until Sunday, limited time. <laughs> That's awesome, Crow. You got a whole like a whole new PC. It's a bare bones pre built from Ironside. Oh, so you're gonna have a double PC setup? No, it doesn't come with a GPU. Like, I, uh, okay. I had them build basically, like, all the parts that I needed to replace, uh, gotcha. plus the power supply, because I couldn't do no power supply with the build. But yeah, yeah. they give you the option to, like, take out the uh, SSDs and hard drives. You can take out the GPU and get just the other stuff. So that's what I did. Because my, nice. my processor is at the last leg of its life. I've had it for, like, mm. six or seven years, and it's just not doing it anymore. It, it definitely feels like it's dying on me. And gotcha. I can't go any higher than a 7700K i7 with my current motherboard. So instead of just removing the motherboard and replacing it with a new one, which is going to be a hassle, um, I'm just I just went with a new bare bones pre built. That way I can bypass the whole installation nice. process and just slap my new GPU and my drives into it, and Sweet. then I should be good to go. You're gonna have a crazy rig. What yeah. GPU do you have, Crow? Uh, 3060 Ti. Ah, uh, nice. Which so far has been really good, but like that processor is just holding it back. Yeah, that's where I was until I upgraded, and now my my weakest my weak point is the GPU. Yeah, that's it's definitely the point. CPU for me at the moment. It's like I've got good RAM, I've got a good power supply, a good GPU, but the motherboard and the CPU are way farther behind in performance and also in like age. Uh, the CPU and i7 12700. Ah, uh, nice. You want Intel? Yeah. Sweet. And uh, for hey, the first Greg. time ever, I went with liquid cooling, so that's oh, gonna be nice. That's gonna be so nice. I do like I yeah, because I, I I've so always bad. done air cooling, but. And I was always kind of, I didn't want to do liquid cooling because it does have a little extra maintenance, like having to flush it out every year. But I th I think it'll probably be worth it. That's only once a year and it'll keep everything a lot cooler. I'm glad you told me that I have to flush out my liquid cool. Or, you, or else you wouldn't that. have known. <laughs> well, that. you don't have to. It's just good to. Like, it's, it'll probably be fine. In fact, when I was reading up on it, it says that you don't necessarily have to do it every year, but it'll definitely improve the cooling if you do. Uh, Dylan, thank you for the four months, dude. Really appreciate it. There's no fish in this light, guys. Gotta, yeah, fish don't I exist. Better, um, I, I went back to the outpost. We get some well, should we just go for lines. catfish? I mean, it's almost nighttime. We could. That's What's probably the, the most setup? likely thing that will bite. Uh, the frogs, remember? Don't they the frogs like frogs at that uh, at that lake that you uh, always take take us to? Oh, Scum Lake. The the scummy boy, yeah. Let's see what can we. Ben get? remember Scum Lake. Where even is it? Is it okay? It's right here. I might need to get a bigger pounds. rod and reel. Maybe. Got eight grand to blow. Oh yeah, do it. Do it then. Also, I'm level 47 now, almost back to where I was in early access. You're level 47, holy, I'm 34. Yeah, I've been playing a lot off stream and off video with Probra. Nice. Ryzen is better, Pony? No, I don't know. I think they're both very, very, very good. Uh, no, Johnny, I have not tried the spot Jaxie was at. Where is that? 
Was he at a good catfish spot? Level 61 chip. Nice. Bluegill will bite? They will? Not I haven't actually us. tried fishing for them at night. If we can get oh, them to bite right now, that'd be great. If the spot that we're heading to, it's got channel cats, largemouth, pike, perch, and whitefish. Honestly, yeah, Scum Lake's got a really good selection of fish. Home of the finest fish, indeed. It's got the finest fish possible. And then after we go here, we'll probably head up to that, uh... Well, what are we gonna call this lake? It's that lake that I took you to... I think I took both of you to it last time we streamed. We were going for bass, didn't catch anything. But, uh, that lake right there, it's pretty good for largemouth in the daytime. Lower scum for the bluegill? Okay, nice, Ben. We'll definitely check it out then. Where's scum lake again? Where I am on the map. You'll see oh. me driving, driving oh. up a hill. Oh, it's up there? Okay. Yeah. Right. It's pretty close to a fast travel point. I'll catch you guys there. Let's see if I can get a lake trove first. Ah, uh, good luck. The nighttime seems to reduce the bite quite a bit for them. Dang. Name it Kill Comp to Lake. <laughs> Three being the caller per X chip. Oh, I got a strike. What the heck? Oh, you got one right as I said they don't buy. Okay. I know, nice. right? You got to see it. I mean, to be thing. fair, it's not fully you just nighttime. Doubt it, then it happens. Whoa! What is on my line? Um, okay, I'm gonna the click into snapped. your stream on my phone real quick. The line snapped. Oh, no. Did did it rub against Dude. a rock or something? Did you have, have potential no to only, I? I? I was at 35%. Okay, it definitely hit a rock or something then. No, it was like, it was had me in the red with the tension the whole time. I was freaking out. That as was a big it, fish then. Or do you maybe have a weak line on? What What line do you have on your setup? 11 pound braided. Oh gosh. Ugh. That's your problem. Yeah, I gotta switch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta oh, okay. switch no. it to 22. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, use your highest you know possible line for lake trout. I thought oh, I gosh. switched it over to the. Because I literally just went and bought the 22. I thought I switched it over. <laughs> Rest in pieces, man. Dang. Rip. Dude, that was a good That's one. That's sad. No, that was a great one, though. Oh, I'm gonna get Definitely it, get it right a great now. one. I believe you. Hey, Faded. What's up, man? Hey, Toxicity. How you doing? Oh, my gosh, Ben. <laughs> oh, we know All right, let's trout see. Down there, Can we hook into Giant Catfish? That is the question. I think yes. I mean, that was my biggest braided line, though, so that's what I've been using. What yeah, honestly, it's... Oh, there we go. Fish on already. Okay, well, definitely a lot more action at this little spot. Hang on. Scum Lake hits, baby. Certified bangers at a Scum Lake. Yeah, just because it's braid doesn't mean it's good. Oh, Is that that's a, why. Right, because I'm using the bay cast it's a pike. now. I've got 27 pound for the spin cast. That's what it was. I'm sorry to hear that, Trent. I'm glad you enjoy the streams, though. Glad they can help you feel better. Yeah, I would probably... Uh, uh, what is your... Like Trump, first ever. World first. What is your rod and reel? For bait casting, what I got the, the best of both. Um, Well, I mean, it's like, what, 55 or whatever? Okay, 55, what I would do is I would get the 44-pound fluorocarbon because it's the clearest line. It'll be the least visible, and it's also still very strong. Okay, I'm broke now. I gotta make money first. Oh, that'll be easy. Just come over here and catch some fish, you know? Get some catfish, some this, pike, uh, some bass. Let's see if I can hook this guy again. I got a 22-pound braided on this, so that's... I believe something. in you. Thanks. As long as it's not a 50-pound diamond, you're probably going to be okay. Right, yeah. You could probably land one of the 35-pound diamonds with that. Might be like a 10-minute fight, but... I think you could probably still do it pretty easily. Hey, Faded, how's it going, dude?
Big Lake Trail needs a 55 pound. Yeah, I'm starting to think that as I'm as I'm standing here right now, Chip. I'm kind of thinking that. I think I need better line. Yeah, from what I understand, the biggest lake trout anybody has caught is 51 pounds. So if they get that big, you're going to want as heavy of line as possible. Yeah, that's what I want. I want a 50 plus. Dude, they seem so rare. I've only heard of two people getting them. <laughs> One I of them was the Darth Sloan, and then the other person was somebody on Reddit. I got the, I got the third ever great one red deer I could, I could do with Lake Trout. I believe. Like, slight flex, slight flex, but hey, man. Yeah. Don't worry. Apparently, I created herd management. Who would have known? <laughs> run, run with it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> It's actually kind of wild how many how many times I've seen people saying that, and I'm like, no, I mm -hmm. didn't. Jaxie did. Jaxie and Flinter and people like that founded it, and then some you some continued I mean, using it, others wanna, stopped using it. Personally, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to have that uh, on my name. <laughs> I love it. It's great. Guess it depends on what your. Uh, I hate it with. Guess a passion. it depends on what your goal is in the game. My goal is to see those sweet, sweet super rares along my grinds. If it isn't a super rare, then... Eh. You heard of a... Chip says he heard of a 58-pound diamond. Oh, 48. That's crazy. So, 48, sorry. 48. Oh, 48. Yeah, 48 is still massive. Still Anything massive, above massive. 40 is very uncommon for the lake trout. And I love that. I love that there's a kind of a lower... Oh, catfish. Nice. I got a catfish. Sweet. Eight pounder. But yeah, as I was saying, I like that there is kind of like a low entry point for like the diamond metal. And then they get so much larger than what the minimum diamond is. Yeah, I like that too. Leaves lots of room for improvement whenever you catch one. It's nice. Ooh, so we got cool. a uh, catfish. My second 16 pound pike of the day. What super rares? Oh, oh, you just got back, Johnny. We were just talking about like herd management and stuff like that. And I was just saying my goals with it is I, I just want super rares. That's my whole point in doing it. I want super rares. I want more interesting stuff to show up along my lengthy great one grinds and stuff. Would you say that the super rares are not quite as rare though with herd management because diamonds aren't as rare? I mean, it took me 15,000 kills to get one and... 12,000 right. of those kills were with herd management. So, yeah. it, no, it's still very rare. Because, like, even every time common, you get a rare to spawn, right? If you're spawning even, more diamonds... Well, think of it this way. Yeah, even if you're spawning, like, level 9s every 20 kills like I am right now, it's still 50% chance it's a troll. And it's also still, like, each of those diamonds, it's like a 1 in 200 chance that it's a rare. So, like, it's still very rare. Yeah. Not it's to mention, there. it takes forever to get your herds to that point. Like, yeah. for a lot of the herd management grind, I was getting one diamond every 50 kills instead of the 20 that I am now. Mm -hmm. it takes a long time to get it to that point. And so it does still end up being rare. Yeah, it's definitely still rare, but it's not as rare. But I'm just, I'm just, yeah, it's still very, very rare. I mean, that's sure. natural, though. The game's been out for a long time at this point. Regardless of if herd management was a thing or not, people still would find ways to make it easier to get super rares. I mean, I had two super rare whitetail just from shooting everything in sight. It's like, it happens eventually if you grind enough. I know quite a few people that have got multiple super rares before their first great one without doing herd management, just shooting everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, you yeah, got a super rare red deer. I did, yeah. Without any herd management. Exactly. Like, it still will happen eventually if you hunt enough. I'm hunting And a if lot. anything, I think... Jack Diddley. Yeah. <laughs> I th I've got more super rares without herd management. I've only got one from herd management. All of my white mm -hmm. tail were just from shooting everything, and then one was an initial spawn, uh, being that albino. And then, like, my piebald caribou was just from grinding caribou when Yukon came out. Just shooting all the males. Yeah. And then I think, yeah, my leucistic duck, that would have been a respawn as well from just shooting random ducks whenever I got the chance to. We were using frogs out here last time, right? Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm using, yeah. size four frog. Got the catfish what, and a pike off line, of it. 
What line you guys got going? Well, let me reel this in and I'll tell you my exact setup. I got a 11 pound, 11 pound fluoro, but it might be too small. I am using a 28 pound rod, the 22 pound reel, and this is the like top spinning reel and rod, and then yeah, 27 yeah. pound braided line. Okay, perfect. Using the exact same thing. Yep, and then the size four frog. And it's nice. working beautifully. Got max bait casting everything. Are you letting it drop at all or just surface? Just surface what? and then I'm twitching. Nice. Doing a stop and go. One X yeah, real speed twitching. Was twitching. So well last time. Oh yeah, it's great, dude. It's great. Curly, what's up, man? How's it going, everybody? Hey, Jaden. Hey, everyone. Hey, Connor. Oh, fish on. There we go, right as I'm talking about it. Nice. Are you a catfish or are you another pike? Probably a pike. It's coming in very easily. It's probably a small pike. Yeah, that- oh my gosh, it's tiny. Mm. Would have thought it was a chain pickerel. I got something. A little two-pounder. Come on. There we go. Now, what do we got? Gone catfish. Hey Casey, how's it going? So you just you just chilling here? Yeah. Catching fish? Yeah. Oh, that's a catfish. Oh, no way. Nice, dude. You got a catfish. Oh my gosh, it's a great one. Holy silver. I mean, they're almost as rare as a great one, it sometimes feels like. Oh wow, what a photo. Hey. <laughs> hey buddy. That was shirt and everything. Ah, <laughs> uh, they need to fix that glitch. <laughs> it's great, but they need to fix it. Oh, fish on. You Man, they are from biting like crazy. Connor, nice. Leucistic turkey. What if you actually found the first? Can you imagine you pull out a fish and it says great one. It's just like, what? That'd be cool. Yeah, this is a decent fish. Is it a... It's a pike. Okay. Oh, yeah. Average size pike. Silver there. Probably. Yeah, 6.63 pounds silver. Nice. Almost to level 48. It's a little bit more to go. Maybe two, three fish? Nice. Maybe four. 30, just about to ding 35. Nice. How's it going over there, bro, bro? Um... We just got a bronze pike. Oh, nice. nice. If you came over here, you'd get a catfish. We've each got one now. <sighs> oh, fish on again. The bite oh, has been insane since we got here. All right, I'm going to climb this mountain to get over to you. Do it. The bite was so dead for the lake trout, and then we come over here, and it's just fish after fish. Well, I mean, for you, I've gotten one bite, but I think I'll get more here. Oh, you'll definitely get more. Well, come on. what was that one, Crow? A little pike? Yeah, just a little dude, like three and a half pounds or something like that. Thank you, Caden. Appreciate that. Definitely, Johnny. Uh, yeah, bro, 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 bro was being too quiet. Someone needs to get bro, bra beer. Oh man, beer, bra, beer, bra. He needs another bush light apple. Yeah, I got got a couple in the fridge. Apple bush. I do too. I should go get one actually. Sounds perfect for a edge. fishing stream. You guys told shit. I, got, I got a beer going. Nice. All nice. right. BRB. Hello. Oh, well. Yeah. Once I reel in, I'll go BRB. grab it. Eh, we're talking. Oh, nice, Kathy. That's awesome. I'm glad it got fixed. Oh, nice. Curly. Got my great one red. That's all three down. Finally, I can die happy. Wow. Congratulations, Curly. That my is gosh. amazing. The trifecta. They need a multi mount for all three great ones. Definitely do. And then they could name it the greatest multi mount. Yeah. The great three. The greatest one. The the great trifecta. Three's a party. Third yeah. time's the charm. There's lots of things they could do with a mount like that. Yeah. Yeah. So many things. I guess I should be twitching. Maybe that's the problem. Yeah. 
Probably. That's what I'm doing, and it's working pretty decent. Forgot. They seem to like the twitching retrieve yep. much better. Oh, it's there the you go. <laughs> as soon as I started twitching again. Oh my gosh. Wow. So you can't make this up. Oh, we're crossing lines. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Well, uh -oh. you're going to lose that fish. It looks like a pike. It is a oh, pike. Oh, fish yeah. on. Oh, I got the bug where it like said strike and then didn't let me strike. Okay, now no I've bronze. struck. Okay, keep that fish in. Do not put okay. that thing away yet. I'm going to reel mine in and get a screenshot. This feels like a decent pike. Yeah, it's going to be a good silver. Can use this for a uh, thumbnail. <laughs> I mean, the nose of your pike is out of the screenshot, but close enough. It's good enough. I'll take it. Not bad. Not bad. I'm gonna move a little closer. Not to bad. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, that would be awesome, kill comped. I actually like that idea. Black bear and whitetail mount actually would make sense. Like maybe, uh, maybe, maybe two whitetail deer, like with their heads down, ready to fight, fending off the black bear. That'd be amazing. That would be a really cool mount. We need the huddle red deer, and we need yeah, all three great ones. I want a huddle mount of every species, please. Just every species get a huddle mount, and I'll be happy. There's so much they could do with the multi mounts. Definitely. I'll be right back. All right. I'll be bro, bro. You'll be bro, you'll be bro, bro. Okay, I'll be twitching. All right. Well, you Just guys lied to me. There's nothing on this side. I never said there was anything on that side. Literally lied to me. To Just my trying face. to hog, hog all the fish here. Oh my god. On oh, fishies. Is that you? All right, I'm back. Lightning fast beer grabbing. Nice. Good. You guys uh, catch anything while I was gone? No, I'm twitching like crazy. Nothing. You seen so little, your eyes twitching? Dude, can you imagine a diamond catfish? Like, man. Oh, yeah, I'd be insane. That's definitely a tough one. You gotta get so lucky. For sure. The only one I got was the uh, mission one in early access. Oh, is there a mission? Oh, I guess there's a mission diamond. Every for species all of that has, fish. yeah. Everyone oh. has a mission diamond. Oh, gosh. But they're always on the very low end of diamond, I've noticed. Which is good. I wouldn't want them to be big ones. It's kind of awkward because <laughs> my face cam, you can see me just like shaking back and forth as I'm twitching. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Low sensitivity life. Yeah. All right, later, kill comps. Actually, that makes it a lot easier. Hey, Deer Slayer. Hey, thanks, man. It's good to see you. Mr. Untain, I think I might become a member this weekend. Save up some ceremony, so we'd love to support you, KC. Oh, well, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I'm doing good, Lexi. Doing very good. Hey, how 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 are you two doing? You just hanging out with me, fishing? Talking to me? I look to my left and I look to my right and I see two fine gentlemen. Oh, good photo op. To be exactly. Three boys and their rods. <laughs> uh, sadly, the catfish, they're not... Not phased by how cheese. dapper you guys look right now. They're like, nah, man, right we're not biting. No. I got a little bit of a fighter going on right here. I don't know what you oh, guys yeah. are talking about. I've been catching fish ever since I stood next to you. So, Are you doing the twitch method? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Constant twitch. There we go. Beautiful. Fish on. Let's see. Oh, there's a fish. What is this one going to be? Okay, 62 Slayer, feet out. Silver Robertson. Catfish. Nice. Keep that there. Keep that there. Let me see if I can reel one in. 
Uh, you're 5,200 kills in without a great one. Just keep going. That's what do you do? Cat. You keep going. You just gotta keep Man, going. this is a decent Here one. Go. You got one on. Nice. Perfect. Please be yeah. a catfish, man. If both of these are catfish, that's perfect. Oh my gosh. Mine's a catfish. <laughs> Away. Nice. Oh, it's a 13 pound silver catfish. Ah, oh, Brober's out of the camera. No. Mine's a 13 pound uh, silver you're, catfish too. Oh, I got a you're both, you're both out of the screenshot, oh, man. Oh, we're way too far away from each other. We got, we got to be basically like touching elbows here. Way to go, guys. Huddle up for warmth. <laughs> oh, we had th three catfish. <laughs> we had no, them. I had, we, I had a pike. We, I had a pike. Oh, okay. uh, well, close enough. I mean, we had two 13 pound catfish. That's better than what we've had all day. It's true. All right, we'll that was wild. Get another one. Get another one. All right. I'm just gonna get in you. Did you move closer to crow? Yeah. Bro, bro? Uh, oh, nice. oh hi, bro, bro. You yeah, back up, yeah, man. Yeah, That's too close. Yeah, 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 yeah. You sure? Yeah, you're right in front Way of my camera. Fast of a Twitch, Chip. Thanks. It feels like that's what's working for me, though. I'm twitching like almost instantly when the rod returns to center. It's like twitch, twitch, twitch. That fast twitch, twitch. Seems to be what's working for twitch, you. twitch. Like I'm twitching pretty quickly. I mean, I it's all personal game... preference, Bryson. I actually enjoy the game quite a bit. There's definitely a lot of places where it needs improvement, but. It's a it's an initial release. There's plenty of time for that. The Hunter Call of the Wild was terrible when it first released. The game was so buggy, there was barely any content. And a lot of things didn't work properly. If anything, this game's ahead of the Hunter Call of the Wild in terms of initial release. Because obviously the Hunter Call of the Wild's been out for years. Is that another catfish? It's it another catfish. <laughs> Ten pounds silver. Hey, now that's a good screenshot right there. Nice. I like Kitchen. it. You two better catch some fish. Make this screenshot even Try. better. Try. And we, we finally are lined up perfectly, proper. by the way. Brobra, you are in the perfect location. Uh, KC maybe needs to move like an inch or two to the left. Smells a little funny right here. Because now things I'm jigging when I do it this way. If you go up and down at all, it'll say jigging. Right, okay. Just start my red deer grind. Got about 250 right now. Two diamonds, one troll, one albino. Nice, RPG. Albinos are very rare, so having one already is pretty good. See, now it's not, nothing's biting now. Gosh darn it. We'll get something. Don't worry. I think something that, and, and I've mentioned this a few times throughout the last few angler streams we've done, the comparison to Fishing Planet isn't even a legitimate comparison because the game's been out for like five years. It's had like five years of updates, and when the game first released, it was very bare bones and didn't have much to offer. So you got to compare it with what the game was like when it first Wait, released if we're going to be comparing. Fish on. See, I've never it's a pike. like this in real life fishing. Like I, I jig a little bit when I fish, but... Nice pike, thing? dude. Like side to side like that? I would never do it side to side, no. It's weird. Don't I've only right. twitched like one direction. Like I just kind of jig a little bit while I'm reeling in. Oh yeah, I most of the time yeah. when I fish in real just life I use spinners so there's not really any twitching involved. Never but I in do life. use um I do use like crappie jigs for trout sometimes. And with those you do like a constant like up and down twitch to where it basically makes the jig look like a little fish. You just gotcha. want it okay. bobbing up and down like a half inch. And so you do like a very steady, subtle twitch. Another pike. Oh, I see it. Oh, oh, I got a big fish on. Oh, oh yeah, there's definitely tons that needs improving Bryson, but that, that's not the point. The point that I'm trying to get is you can't be, you can't compare the game to a game that has five years of updates and additions to it. Yeah, like not realistically anyway. Like why would anybody be? Like, why would anyone make that comparison? Obviously, you can new, enjoy right? that game better so. because it does have like five years of improvements. Yeah. But if we're comparing the two as a whole, like it's not a fair comparison because the game just came out and still has many things that are going to be added over and, the years. And that's and that's the exact same reason why it's so hard for us to... You guys want us 
you guys always want us to compare, uh, you know, some of you guys, not everyone, but to compare Call of the Wild to Way of the Hunter, it's an impossible comparison to make. Not only because they're so different, but Call of the Wild's been out for five years, right? Yeah, I compare games Way to what they were when they first released game. whenever there's something new. Yeah. Most of those people that are asking that question weren't playing those older games when they came out, I don't think. Yeah. But yeah. Kind of yeah, definitely, Bryson. Like, I, that's the way I think this game will end up being. Oh, that's a big Ooh, pike, dude. Nice pike. Nice that's pike. a nice one. But yeah, as I was saying, I think that once they make the necessary changes, this game will end up being a very good fishing game. Right now, I see it as a fun fishing game. It's not necessarily a good fishing game, but it's a fun fishing game. Especially with friends. It is a blast with, when you're playing multiplayer with your friends. That's all I want. Just one, a fun you turn, fishing you, game. You turn it. Have you guys tried one-click casting? Yeah, I don't like it. Go to sixteen boring, pound right? pike. Nice, that's a good one, bad. dude. I wasn't using. That's a good for this lake bin. too. In your face, Ben. Love you, ben. <laughs> uh, no, Fishing Planet isn't really open world. It's got like individual maps that are smaller scale. And really, that's one of the big things that keeps me interested in this game is the size of the world and the freedom to just look at a place and be like, "Yep, I'm gonna go fish there." I can literally fish anywhere I want on the map, and that's my top want in any fishing game. I've been wanting it for years now. And the fact that there finally is a game that has it, it that alone makes it so I can forgive a lot of the issues and just hope that they'll fix them at some point, because I do think they will. Just from the, the time... Oh, hey, Carlos, nice bass. What's up, man? Just from the talking that I have done with the developers, they seem very... Very dedicated and passionate about this game and want to make it the game that everybody wants. Um, MX, can people cheat on console? Because I counted 25 great ones for one person. Well, people can trade on console. That might be what Which that is basically was. cheating. Which is definitely cheating. So yeah, there's there's ways to do it. Some people even sell great ones and stuff on console. <laughs> yeah. Which is very scummy. <laughs> very sad. Not gonna lie, I kind of like the night fishing. I do it's too. It's different. When the, when the fish are biting, I do. I've got a bite since that last pike. Not sure oh, why. Fish again? Yeah, I'm getting tons of hits on this frog. This frog is going crazy. This one's much smaller though. Seems to be a small pike. A little bit. Yeah, four pound pike. Ah, a little silver yellow perch. Yeah, okay, so I see the I see a problem here though. If we want the the screenshots to actually show all of our fish in one, we have to be looking straight ahead. If we turn, it turns the I, player I too, and then the fish is held out of the camera. <laughs> Rest in pieces. Yeah, it's probably not even worth even trying. It's gonna be too difficult to fish that way. I just can't get fish over there. Yeah, and since it's all client side, there's well the fish populations are client side, or I guess not even client side. It's just each person sees different different fish, so you yeah. definitely might not have as many in that spot compared to what we do. Nice Arctic. And I think another. I think another major factor in negative feedback for the game is uh, the expectance of a realistic fishing game because that's what they kind of marketed it as and in reality it's definitely more arcade. Here we go. Definitely more fast paced the Hunter Call of the Wild style action. I just can't wait till they do some changes. They already made one update to this game, one hotfix that did change the behavior of the fish so they don't bite as predictably pike. as they used to. I'm going to pike. I've definitely Imagine had more... Go ahead. Sorry. No, no, you finish. I've definitely had more scenarios since the Ooh, update where pike. fish will just deny every lure I toss at them. Like, I've seen multiple big bass and they just won't bite anything I throw at them. 
And I, I do bass. like that. I do like that change. I like big bass and I cannot lie. Ooh, catfish. What was I going to say? Hmm. I don't even know. It was it's something. Yeah, Imagine this game coming out like 10 or 15 years ago and people saying it's not realistic enough. <laughs> you know? The expectations are insane that people have. Dude, yeah, seven pound true. catfish. Let's go. Nice. Slaying these catfish. I remember what uh, those old fishing games for like Super Nintendo were like as a kid. Dude, we thought the those old were fishing so realistic. Games were great. I, go I remember like, like this. And now we got games like this coming out. Fully open world, online, insane graphics. And people are like, that's not realistic enough. It's wild. And 007 Goldeneye, that was so it's cool wild. back in the day on, on the 64. I think when it comes to OG games hey, that buddy, I grew up, up with, Real Fishing 2 has to be like, back then that was such an insanely realistic fishing game. And I believe it was only on like the PlayStation 1. And maybe, maybe some, maybe a couple other consoles, but I think it was primarily PlayStation 1. Real Fishing 2 was insane. It was so ahead of its time. Like, it was, it was so crazy. Best fishing game ever on the PlayStation 1. Oh, which one oh. was that? Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, we got a big one. Nice. Um, yeah. Real Fishing 2. Oh my oh, okay. gosh, yeah, this is a big fish here. And then on the PlayStation 2, Real Fishing 3 was really good as well. Not as good as Real Fishing 2, but still pretty good. Pike. Yeah, exactly, Bryce. And I think that was their downfall, honestly. I think they just marketed the game incorrectly. They uh, said that it was a realistic fishing experience. And in a lot of ways, it is, like with the open world. The open world is definitely more realistic than what other games have. But then in other aspects, like the... Frequency of bites, the fish behavior and movements, they fall a little bit short on the realism size. That's a big pike. Yeah, it's a that's a big part, pike right there. That's the part that I don't mind. If you're gonna fall oh, I short like on it. realism, it's just in a different area, experience. It needs to be the speed of fishing. If I wanted a relaxing, slow paced fishing day, I I'd go fishing in real life. Hey, I'm level forty five. How about that? Nice, dude. And yeah, I do agree. I do enjoy the more consistent fish action. However, I do wish that lure choice made a little more of an impact on how many fish you catch and which fish yeah. in particular bite. Oh, that's a big one. 13.95 pound gold. Good to see you. Oh, nice. Wow, what was that, a catfish? No, pike. Oh. But yeah, I think at the end of the day, I'm very impressed with the first update they did to the game. Like, it's only, like, literally a week after the game released, they had already put out an update that changed the fish behavior a little bit and decreased the amount of diamonds and golds, which I think was great. And now I actually feel accomplished when I catch a gold or a diamond. And the fish, you do have to actually be a little more selective with what lures you're using. They won't just bite every single lure you toss in front of them. So they're making good changes already. I'm just hoping the next couple, like, major updates will improve the animations and stuff like that. Oh, this is another big fish. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we got another big one on. Oh, don't break off. Please don't. Ooh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, this one's fighting. Couple good fish in a row. Oh, yeah, it's another pike. Some of the best games are the older ones, definitely. Oh gosh, Kathy, that sounds that sounds terrible. <laughs> That's oh gosh. Okay, Bobby, see you later, man. Have a good night. Uh, I haven't gotten anything good yet, Lakin. Oh, there is. What is that? That might be a got a good okay. pike coming up. Not as big as the last, I don't think. Uh yeah, eleven point seventy eight silver. Not quite a gold, but still good. Wait, do I have that thing? Yeah, I do. What is that? I think I've got a big. Catfish. I hope you do. That'd be, That'd awesome. be awesome. I do. Jinx. Pinch Whoa. Poke, me a Coke. How big? Silver. Just the silver. How big, though? 12 pounds. Nice. Ooh. That's about the same as those two that we caught recently. Mm -hmm. I think our best so far today was 13, so that's about mm -hmm. there as well. We're oh, getting yeah, a lot I of wanna, catfish. I want to release it. I want to keep I know, it. Right? I want to fillet it, and I want to cook it right here. On the beach. Please. Catfish, some hush puppies. Delicious. Yes, please. 
Mm -hmm. Some grits. Now they're fish Some grits on. Grits and gravy. Mm. Not as big though. You know, I'm really happy we're actually catching catfish this time. Last stream we struggled to get them. <laughs> they're actually yeah, biting did. this time. Come like delivers, baby. Oh yeah. I actually got more last time than I've gotten so far, but I, I think I'm gonna get more. That's I think the biggest catfish I've caught. Wait, I got a pretty big one last time, didn't I? I think my first one was pretty big. Yeah, I think you had like a ten pounder or something. Oh, there's a bass right in front of me. It actually looks like a decent one, too. Um, oh, yeah, there's bass in there, too, isn't there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there is. There's some largemouth. Uh, ben was saying at the lower scum lake, we, that's where we can get bluegill. Oh, really? Yeah, the one that's yeah, just we'll definitely have down to go the there. right here. Hmm. Oh yeah, definitely uh killer. But we were uh we were actually doing night fishing last time as well, and the catfish just weren't interested. I, I think it's just the uh I think it's just the randomness. Alright, I'm gonna move over here. Let's go to lower scum lake. Let's catch some bluegill. As soon as he leaves, you you want to leave him in the dark in the mountains. Yep. Yeah, I mean he's fine. So he's a big rude. boy. That's he's a so big boy. Rude. He can handle it. All right, let me reel this pike in. Nice, little, little pikey boy. I think I'm gonna make all my eight grand back that I just spent on a new rod set out. Nice, dude. Thank you, Kathy. I appreciate that. I'm glad you like the streams. I have a lot of fun on these angler ones. These are probably the most fun streams that I that I do. I really enjoy these. Uh, well, we haven't done a multiplayer Way of the Hunter one yet, so... True. I hope they get multiplayer working soon, because right now it's so laggy. That's the other thing. People are trashing this multiplayer, but, like, aren't saying a whole lot about, like, the multiplayer in Way of the Hunter. <laughs> Way on. of the Hunter's multiplayer is really bad, primarily on, because it's peer-to-peer. And there's a lot of desynchronization issues where animals stutter and teleport and aren't in the same spots for each person. This game's got fair. dedicated servers, so they That's are going to be much more smooth. All I'm asking is just to be fair in our criticisms. Let's see. Can I get a big one? Did you guys go down to the lower lake? Yeah, we're after some bluegill to. now. I said you're hey, just gonna uh, leave. What are you fishing them with again? Uh, light. size eight spinner bait. Light, light, light tackle. This Going is what I fish for. Ultra light. Nice. Bluegill perch. I think I Any said kind of this sunfish. last time, but I'm gonna say it again. Dude, this may sound crazy, but water. I've never caught a bluegill, but I've really? caught red ear sunfish. Biggest catfish in real life was 32, 32 inches, like, and ooh, that's a big one. That's a good one right there. That's wild. What you catching over there, Brobra? Uh, largemouth bass. Yeah, seems about right. The bass love Brobra. Kathy, my name can be whatever you want it to be. Don't worry. What the? Doesn't bother me. Good old Brobra. I see your line, like the the splashing along the surface from it. Mm hmm. Oh, fish on. Probably gonna be a bass, but I hope it's a bluegill with this fight. Come on, please be a bluegill. If it is, it's a good bluegill. Eh, what do you know? It's a bass. Who would have oh. thunk it? Two point sixty-two pound largemouth. How many diamonds do I have in the angler lichen? I've got one. Just a golden trout. Hey, James, how's it going? Thanks for joining the stream, dude. So, I've got a four-pound setup on right now. How much you guys want to bet that I'm going to hook a ten-pound diamond bass and break it off? Do it. Got a I feeling it's going to happen. You... 
I will bet you one two bush light five apples. Star. I'll bet you one five star white tail off of your map. Oof. Ooh, cancer supreme for sure. All right. Um, you watch a lot of fishing shows, and they always fish the bottom with live or fish bait. Well, it depends what they're <laughs> if they're, if they're fishing for bottom feeders. Then they would fish the bottom. But you wouldn't always fish the bottom. What are you? What are they fishing when you're in those shows? Haven't caught a bluegill before, but I have caught a a pumpkin seeds. I don't even know what that is. A pumpkin seeds? Oh it's yeah, like, they're they're similar to red ear sunfish. Oh, for catfish, AB. Yeah, then for sure. Yeah, I haven't tried. I wonder if live bait work for catfish in this game. For some reason, yeah, I thought it was kind of weird that we're um, we're just fishing the, the surface for catfish. That's kind of weird, isn't it? I yeah. I bought stinky cheese. I mean, catfish do bite frogs and stuff. It's just not as often. Is they're at the bottom at the of the of the of the lakes? They should be. I mean. Occasionally, if they own, see uh, something that interests them, they might go up for it. You never yeah, know. Yeah, they might go up for it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I just use my hands for catfish. I know quite a few people <laughs> that catch catfish on crankbaits and stuff like that as well. Like, they yeah, don't just bite like, bait on the bottom. With only, like, you know, 30 feet or 40 feet of depth, then they could definitely get attracted up. Especially, like, ponds. Right. I'm mainly thinking of, like, pond catfish. Which oh, is nice, basically yeah. what this is. This is a pond right here, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Neither this nor the Upper Scum Lake are actually lakes. They're too tiny. Bread works for catfish too, <laughs> Chip. Nice. My Pizza gosh, sounds Caitlin. Good cancer. I might order something chip too. If the stinky cheese works for catfish, have you tried stinky cheese for catfish, Chip? Burbo wants to know if he could just dive in the water and get one. <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> yeah death reaper says that he caught a catfish on a bass spinner one time so yeah they, they, they'll, they'll bite lures it's just uh it's not as often as like baits on the bottom but they will bite them out here in missouri hey jonathan it's going good how are you, you gotta get in the water get them catfish tell you what yeah dude i, I see multiple perch multiple bluegill None of them want to bite. Yeah, I, I think see, I see I got, one going I got a for it. Jumping right in front of me. Take the bait. Take the bait. There we go. It took the bait. I think this is. Yeah, we got a perch here. Cool. Oh, I think I got a bluegill going oh, it's for a bluegill. it. Oh, nice! You got one. I got it's one on silver. too. Let's go. I'm about to get one on as well. Beautiful. Get it on. Come on. Eat, catch catch eat. up to the lure. You got this, buddy. Beautiful. He is so slow. Oh, my gosh. I just got a little guy coming for this one. Yeah, How long same. Have I been for? Like 19 years since I was like 32. But bro, bro, on your line and you'll catch a great one. I wouldn't doubt it. Um, we've been live for about an hour, uh, two hours. Oh gosh. We've been live for, wow. That's see, time insane. flies. No, no, we've been live. We've been, dude, it's 10 to eight. That's crazy. Oh, that's right. We went live at like six fifteen. So yeah. Okay. So not as long. It's been like an hour and a half. Yeah. It's still crazy. Time flies, man. Okay. This, this bluegill is way too slow. He's, he's not catching up to my, two. to my spinner. Yeah, bait. They're so slow. Okay. That's going to yeah. need some tweaking. Here, I'll just yeah. chuck it in over his head. I think it's that really means weird. I Come think on, that buddy. means you're supposed to uh do like a backflip? No, Come on. a different kind of fishing. The um Barrel like bobber fishing. Probably. Float fishing? Yeah. Oh yeah, we could be trying that. I think that's what I that means. dumped off all that tackle because I I don't like the float fishing. Hmm, yeah. I'm gonna try it. Not a fan of how the float fishing works in this game, so I just do the spin fishing. I bet that's why we're not catching many bluegill, though. Yeah, you're just too slow. Little <laughs> slow dudes. It's not me. I it's not me. It's the game. I it's swear. not me. It's the fish. He's too slow. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing it wrong. Hey, Daniel. Oh my gosh, that fish just jumped in front of my lure. Uh, we haven't caught anything too yeah. insane. Uh, we caught a couple catfish, a couple thirteen pounders. 
And then we also got a couple decent gold pike. That's been it so far, though. Come on, little bluegill. You can catch up, man. I believe in you. I might have Mine to use a not. different a different setup. It might just be that this reel has too high of a gear ratio. Yeah, mine did not catch up ever, so I just left him to live. There, I will right, chuck I'm, in my other rod. I'm using the bobber. I'll let you guys know how it goes. <laughs> nice. How do you? Come on. I should get some catfish with that. Hey, he's going for this, so maybe, maybe he'll actually be able to catch it. Come on, you can catch up to it. I believe in you. I believe in you, little buddy. He got it. Yeah, there we go. Bluegill. <laughs> Barley works Finally. for bluegill too? Okay, Chip, I might try that. <laughs> it's a 1.40 pound silver bluegill. What did Chip say works for bluegill? Uh, barley. Okay. Nice. You know, this reel that I've got on my, uh, on my, uh, setup right now, this reel reminds me of those, like, uh, ah, oh, what are they, like, the, uh, the old, like, Zebco or Abu Garcia reels from, like, the 80s. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I like this look. Me too. It just reminds me of like the old like 80s and 90s fishing reels. I got a brand new rod that I haven't broken out this summer yet. Nice. Mm, I should probably chuck this out further. Try the start stop. Yeah, stop and go might work. So I think now that I've got a reel that doesn't reel in as fast, we might be good. I hear Brober's getting some fish over there. Little bass. Little bassy boy. I saw a couple bass over here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Fish on. Really cool in this game. They, have, they gotta can, add more. I can just feel that casting, you know, like back and forth. Yeah. Letting it go. Could you oh, just yeah, that'd that? be awesome. Oh, there we go. That's a good bass. Well, average bass, but. Average bass Six is fish. better than no bass. Yeah, 3.88 pound bronze. Little guy. I go for it. I think I'm about to get a bite. Possibly. Well, maybe not. Some fish is better than no fish. Literally thought this was a video till I noticed it was live huh. a few minutes ago. <laughs> hey, that's even better, right? Uh, yeah, we'll probably be on pretty late tonight. I'm going to go till I don't feel like going any longer, so we might be live for a little while. Wild. There we go, a little fish oh, on Diamond of every is species. This, uh, diamond of every species in one stream. That is the smallest bass I've ever seen. Eh, well, that's a lie, but it's a one pounder. Okay, this is not working at all. Dude, there's a pike right in front of me. How's it going, buddy? Let me just back up so I can flip a lure in front of you. I just want to be day again. Ooh, you know what? Once the morning breaks, I we gotta go. Trout. I'm going late trout fishing. Um, nice. We could do that. So they, I found that they like to bite like in the like middle afternoon. But you know what bites really well in the mornings? What's that? The cockeye salmon. Co cockeye? What? What did you just call it? <laughs> The cockeye salmon. Like, cockeye. you know. Yeah, because, yeah, like, their faces are all crooked and cockeyed. Kokanee? Oh, I gotcha. Oh, Kokanee. That sounds right. The guy just was wrong. <laughs> you're, you're just genuinely wrong. <laughs> you see, this whole time I thought you were just, like, making a joke about it, but you were actually serious. Yeah. <laughs> I really, I legitimately read it as cockeye salmon the first time gosh and uh then i heard you say i heard you say it correctly and then i just chose to ignore you well they're kokanee which are the landlocked version of sockeye salmon so you kind of got it right you just mix the two names listen to you <laughs> mr knowledgeable mr i know my hey fish. what can i say i fish a couple times every year or something i used to fish yeah. every day of every single summer so you're no johnny that's for sure <laughs> I've already declared Johnny the best angler in the, the fishing family. master. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Declared that lie. Back when, back when I was like 14, 15, 16, I used to fish every single day of every summer. Like legit, I'd go fishing minimum 100 days every year. And how many fish for, did you catch? Uh, Maybe this one's 
Uh, early on in the season, at least a couple of day. But uh, the further the season would get along, the less I would catch, because um, when the rivers get lower, fish see you more. You and cutthroat cut trout are already kind of skittish. Oh, fish on. Oh, that one. I mean, it, it kinda... sounded like it was big, but it's... Oh my gosh, I just saw a giant bass. Oh my gosh, oh, that's the have... biggest bass I've ever seen. Oh, nice, bro. Ah. The game's got red worms, not, not night crawlers. Red worms. <laughs> Well, right, as I talk worms. about how I've seen the biggest bass ever, I just caught a .38 pound juvenile largemouth. <laughs> what? Really? That thing is so tiny. Oh, it's daytime now. How did that happen? Yeah, what the heck? Oh my gosh, the time is cycling like crazy. Alright, I hear the lake trail calling. I know I'll still be going live tomorrow. I skipped yesterday, so we're going to be streaming tomorrow and today. Well, I mean, yeah, obviously we're streaming today. Yes, yes. I'm gonna stop talking Wait, now. Streaming right now? I think we are. I still think you guys should make uh, trophy lodges in your uh, Discord channels for the angler, where people can post their fish picks. I've already got that. Right. Yeah. I need to add that. I don't know why I haven't added that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I already got an angler we'll screenshots chat. That. I'm pretty sure. Or yeah, maybe it was Way of the Hunter I made one for. Wow. It was one of them. It was one of those Chat games that has animals question. in it. Dude, what is happening with the day and night cycle? This I server is on one right now. That's not happening for me. Just to oh, well, I got a heck? big pike going for my lure. It's night again. All right, I'm getting out there anyway. Oh, what the heck? It's night again. Oh, my gosh. Yep, big pike on. There we go. This one's at least a 12 or 13 pounder. Probably bigger. I just want to... It's right fish. below you, bro, bro. Oh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is a good one. I gotta just... loosen up the drag a little bit. Hey, Buck, I'll be down the Emerald Lake Plateau. Oh, that's right. I didn't have a strong enough line. How much money do I have? 828. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I think I can get definitely Jeez. a better line now. Let's try it. I do have an angler channel. I don't have an angler... Hang on, let's see. I don't yeah, 11.48 pound channel, pike. Not bad. Yeah, I gotta figure out what that big bass wants, because that thing looked huge. Like, easily an 8 plus pounder. Probably yeah, 10. Yeah, angler channel, but... I'll have to add uh, trophy picks and, and stuff. Maybe a big swim bait will get it? Gotta find swim something bait. to this fish will bite. That thing looked massive. There's a nice, there's a nice dead log right here. Big dude, nice. There. Always wanted to catch a big log. Nice. Now I can get the fifty-five pound braided. Let's go. Nice, dude. Definitely, Daniel. Slap him in the lodge. Oh wait, yeah, it's a little problem there. If only. Maybe one of these days. Maybe one of these days we'll have lodges. I like the aquarium idea. I think that's a good middle ground. I know they were trying to do a catch and release situation. <laughs> I feel like the aquarium's a good middle ground there. Uh, I want to be able to keep the fish and do a, a uh, catch and cook on the beach. I won't yeah. Be, I, I won't be a complete until they add that. Maybe they could make a catch fishing. and release for some fish and then others you can keep. Like maybe catch and release for bass. Really since most people would release them. And then yeah, maybe for like catfish, yeah. you can keep them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. Go with the middle ground, you know, base it off of the species. All right, let's see. It always feels like night is longer than day. In yeah, games. It, it feels, it, feels, it definitely feels, like, feels like that. It feels like it's always nighttime in this game for some reason. Depends on the server. Like some of the servers get super buggy with the uh, day and night cycles. I would be so happy if they didn't update and like allowed us to purchase our own like dedicated servers, like on G Portal or something. That would be so hey, amazing. Luca. Hey Ryan, uh, crappie. Yeah, crappie would be cool. Definitely. Ooh, I love I love fishing for crappie. I want to see some deep sea fishing. I wanna I wanna fish for tuna and halibut. My dad caught a halibut a couple weeks ago up in Alaska off the Kenai Peninsula. 
No way. That's awesome. Yeah. Nice, dude. And then, yeah, more salmon would be cool. Albert are the flat ones, right? The weird looking ones? Yeah. Uh, they're quite flat, yeah. They look delicious. like a sideways, like a the sideways fish ones. that's flat. <laughs> the delicious ones. Halibut fish and chips, man. You can't beat it. Oh, yes. Oh, melt in your mouth. I will say, I've had two, I've had two really good sets of fish and chips. One at this little pub in London that I do not remember. And then out yep. in Seattle, I had really good fish and chips too. Nice. Come on, man. I just I just want to catch that big bass. I'm thinking I had the smaller bass biting the small spinner bait. So what if I use the bigger spinner bait? Bro, were you talking about fishing pressure earlier? Uh yeah. Is that real? Yeah, is that How do we know that? Thing? Uh yeah, Jaxie was saying so. I mean, it kind of already feels like there is. It just doesn't show up, maybe, because like it definitely feels like certain areas dry. No, up definitely, after a while. like there definitely it's already is. A thing. It's what no, no, think? no. That's what I'm saying is that it is a thing. Oh yeah, yeah. I can feel yeah, it. like if you overfish an area, you'll catch less fish there until you've like gave it a break. I'll believe it when Chip, when Chip says it. <laughs> I've definitely seen it. Although, from what I from what I can tell, it seems like it works in a way where like. If you're fishing an area and you catch a bunch of fish there, eventually you'll run out of fish to catch. And then you got to wait for it to like replenish or something. I think that's kind of maybe it might be a good plan for like when we're fishing the three of us to like kind of rotate sides since we have different fish and that might keep our spots fresh. Maybe I don't know. I don't even know. Maybe I just saw a catfish surface. I think Enchantment. Are catfish down here. Enchantment could be. Dude, I'm about to get the first ever we nighttime diamond lake trout, and then I'm going to go viral on TikTok. Nice, dude. Do it. So proud of you. I like the you know what I was thinking about you. doing? I'm actually thinking about doing this, and I might do it. Starting a TikTok account, like incognito. Nobody would know it would be like a dancing one. Like wear a mask. Do it. And see, like kind of like what Moist Critical did. Have you seen that video? Yeah, I did. <laughs> it's gold. Uh, it's, it's shade. Was what he? <laughs> it was beautiful. Oh, he got the greatest like experiment followers. of all time, dude. I'm thinking about doing it. I can dance, man. As long you as nobody it. knows it's me, I can moonwalk and everything. It's great. I'm thinking about doing it. You should. And then after it gets like huge, just like just be like, and guess what, guys? It's yeah. me. Just do I a stream where it's like, wild. yeah. Hi guys, watch me hunt. And then do a stream where I like uncover it to everybody. It's like, I know you guys are all here to watch me dance, but hey, would you rather watch me uh, shoot some pixelated animals? It'd be a social uh -huh. experiment. Yeah. <laughs> I get this and I get something to bite on this one aught popper. If I can get something to bite on it, it'll probably be a giant. So do the lake trout like not bite at all at night or is it just harder to get them? Just harder. I've had a couple bite, but not as many. Because I feel like it was like it was evening when we were doing it from this spot last time. Yeah, but it? not Off pitch black dark. Once it got super dark, they yeah, stopped biting. Though that could just be because we had been fishing there a lot. I'm determined. This is definitely my favorite thing to fish so far in the game. Oh yeah, the lake trout are great. I like the catfish as well and the sockeye salmon. Because I like fighting with the fish. They're sockeye I'm only getting salmon. That. I'm only. Yeah, the Kokanee are Co sockeye salmon. Kokanee are technically, yeah, they're basically the same thing, yeah. Exactly. So I was right the whole time. No, no. <laughs> you said cockeye. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're you're making it sound right like they're me. a crooked-faced fish or something. Yeah. They kind of <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're not are. wrong. Their jaw does hook up and stuff. They look a little cockeyed. But yeah, uh, I like no, Marco, fighting. I still I like love the game. The I've always loved the game. The only the only fight that I'm kind of getting is from Lake Trout. Wait till you get big old channel cat on. Oh and yeah. Depending on what I am probably going to be you're using. making a video about this, Marco, because I feel like I feel like there's an assumption that that uh content creators like games just to just to say they like them. But uh 
no, I genuinely do enjoy this game, and I genuinely think it's got a lot of good things to offer and a lot of potential for the future. Yeah, it's, it's got its problems, further, but be further from the truth. No, like I'm not, I'm not held to say anything in particular about the game. I can speak however I want to on it, whenever I want to on it, and I just genuinely have fun with it. Different like we're, games we're a, appeal to different people. Being an official content creator for Call of the Wild, like for Expansive World, it doesn't mean that we're obligated to only give positive reviews. Like, it's that's just not what it is. It's not that at all. No, like, I could I could say nothing no but negative no stuff about the game. And yeah, we're not obligated to playlists. Like, if if this was a trash oh. game, I wouldn't touch it. And that is you got to keep in mind is like our our channels are our babies, right? Like Crow, like his channel, like. He's not going to play stuff that he's not enjoying. You know what I mean? Like, he's not going to... Like, our channels mean everything to us. Like, we're not going to... We're not going to feature stuff on our channels that we're not actually interested in. It's just not going to happen. We so can put it this here? way. Like, if... If it was for anything but enjoyment, like, if the whole goal was to play stuff that's popular and stuff that does well, then the angler wouldn't be one of them because this game does not do well on either of our channels, but I still play it well because I have hearts. fun with it. Bro, fast travel to me. I'm going to take you to this little hole over oh, here. Oh, no, bro, bro. What, what are you doing? We're going to check out this little hole together. Okay, okay, little okay. Hole. All right, you nerd. I can't fast travel when you're on it. <laughs> I can't oh click God. it. All right, I'm oh, running away. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. We should add a Midwest map with a lake and tributary with streams. Oh, there we go. Blues channels. I did it. Walleye, carp, gar, and other species. It's yeah, a trap. Midwest Hunter. So <laughs> it much probably potential is. for uh, upcoming maps and things. Definitely. Up in Boyo. Species. Dude, I love a Midwest map. Hey, Bozarch's man, put your map. clothes back on. That's not cool. You put, I'll put my clothes on. You put it's your a family-friendly stream. Hey, hey, I'm not the only one here, okay? All right, all right. I mean, at least stop, you got your stop shoes on. Stop flirting and put your clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> Can't just this go walking around with nothing but yellow boots and expect me not to notice. <laughs> hey, Lake, this is Bree Crow's not here. We are, we're all right. Hear a beeping. Okay. What was that? Like a sonar um, or something going off? Not a bomb. It was my, uh, that was my It must have been the Brobra meter. It lets me know when there's a Brobra near so I can run. West Coast, West Coast beach go. salmon fishing. Yeah, yeah, true. Chip. He does have gloves on. He does. He's that that is a good point. All right. Here's the first one. This is where we're going. You ever been fishing here? Hey, JB. Um, How's it going? No, I haven't. Wow, you're really missing out. Is this one of the ones that actually gives you information about the fish that are here? Yes, you'll find out. Should I, should I be circling it to, to get the info to pop up? Like, I don't oh, know. I've never been here. Dude, you've never we need to fish during the day. Should we try to find a different server? Are Good you luck mad? getting into the same you server. You, you've lost well, it, man. Dude, night fishing kind of sucks. Well, yeah, but so does spending an hour and a half trying to get into the same server. Done. We're almost done. With It'll be done day nighttime? soon enough. Yeah. It just reset itself to nighttime again. No, it didn't change on mine. Yeah, it's the same on ours. That's just a visual bug, I think, when it cycles through day and night. It didn't turn the day for you guys for a few No, hours? no, it didn't. What? Nope. Son of a salmon. It'll it'll change here soon. It's already getting light. I can see the sun coming up. Yeah, I mean at the end of the I day, can't. Marco, like I I say nothing but my actual opinions on this channel. Like I'm not obligated to speak any way in particular. And in fact, contrary to belief by a lot of people. Content creators don't get paid to play these games. If we did, we'd have to disclose that in our um, in our uh, videos. We don't get paid to pay. The only so payment we get is to and, play the game early. That's it. And it's and it's we're allowed to better. speak on it however we want. And I just genuinely have fun with this yeah. game. If and if we did get paid, that would not be a good thing because then I feel like we would we would have to feel obligated to to only say positive things and that just no i wouldn't be into that so i don't no, do don't youtube get we, to get, like... we get early access and you know it's it builds hype for the game and yeah i think a lot of it is perspective really like, as far as that goes i i look at this game 
as a game that has just released and what it has versus what other games had when they first released. I'm not going to compare it to like a five year, five years worth of update finishing planet and expect it to be the same. And same with like the Hunter Call of the Wild. I've seen people comparing it to the Hunter Call of the Wild and it's like that game has years and years of updates. When the Hunter Call of the Wild first released, it was pretty terrible and then it got better over time. And this game's got a lot of issues. But I can overlook some of those issues because there's certain things that just give me so much more enjoyment than any other fishing game, with the big ones being the multiplayer and the open world. Being able to fish anywhere that I see is huge to me, and that's, like, number one priority over anything. It just comes down to, like, what you look for in a fishing game and, like, what you expected out of the game, I guess. And, yeah, I I talk... I will always say my exact opinions on everything i regularly talk negatively about things that i don't like in games especially with hunting sim franchise as that game was not, i don't a disaster you know, i don't think you should ref- i don't think you should refer to that as negative because it's being honest and being honest is not negative right well it's You're what's perceived as negative well i don't think that's negative being honest is the best thing you critically can do that's a creator. better better phrasing talking critically about stuff yeah, I got a lake trout. Oh, I got a rainbow trout. What? You got a big rainbow? Was it was it on a spoon? Yeah. No way. I don't oh, think I've no. heard of that actually and happening. It's a, I've and it's a gold. I've never heard of that either. Like, what is going on there? It's a 15 pound gold. Dude, that's insane. Uh-huh. Maybe that's the oh, that's trick to get awesome. the giants. That's my biggest rainbow trout. That's awesome, dude. Uh, let's try a spinner here. What Mr. Heck? Murphy wants a tip on bluegill. Real slow. Yes, real very slow with a size 8 spinner bait. Use a reel with a very low aspect ratio, or not aspect ratio, <laughs> gear it ratio. Diff- <laughs> it kind of looks different than the other rainbow trouts. Uh, Crow, did you get this little elk the heck? thing it's over here? Yeah, I like did. I grabbed that. It. Nice. It's wild. Oh, no, Daniel. That's not good. Uh, was it by any chance a map you haven't played since the last Call of the Wild update? Because uh, they made a lot of changes to a lot of the maps with the terrain and position of trees. And if you had tents in one of those places where they added trees or changed the terrain, then they will get put back in your inventory. See some some gar in this game. Yeah, Midwest Hunter. I like Fishing Planet. It's a pretty cool simulation game. Yeah. Did you play Fishing Planet when it first came out? Much different than it is now from what I've heard. I didn't play it when it first came out, but. I played it for I about. I tried playing it. I think yeah. about 300 hours when it first came out. I tried playing I played it about a 300 years hours ago of it. I, it was so hard and to get into. To purchase the whole Fishing Planet game, wouldn't you have to spend like a thousand bucks? No, Is you don't have much? to. No, most of those things, it's just like, it's all stuff you can buy in game, just different skins. Like, you don't actually buy much. Most of it is yeah. just stuff you earn. They just reskin That's... it and sell it as DLC if you want to get it early. Yeah, I think that's what a lot of people are are forgetting is that this is a brand new release. And yeah, I, I get a lot of people are saying like, you know, it's it's been released as a full game. It's not... Which I don't uh, agree with them releasing it as a full game. I think it should have been not, released as early access. Yeah, it's... Yeah, totally. But it is only 30 bucks. Full games yeah. don't cost 30 bucks. They cost 70 bucks. So whether it's been classified as alpha or beta or not, it's definitely... It's got the price tag for it. So... listen. How many hours do I have in this game so far? It's easy to be critical of things. It's really easy. The The bottom line for me is it's it's fun and the potential is it's there. You can't deny that the, the potential is there. It's absolutely there, depending on what the devs yeah. do. But so far, what we've seen the devs do, they're super diligent. It's uh, everything's looks great from the dev side of things. So the potential is massive, absolutely massive with this game. I've got 32 hours in this game. <laughs> for like less than a dollar an hour, this game is absolutely worth it. It is so fun. Like that you just can't beat that. Price. Yeah, like that's, that's awesome. the bottom line for me. I can sit here playing it for hours and there's not many games that I can do that with. Oh yeah, this is the only me. game so. currently where I lose track of time when I'm streaming it. Like we went 5 hours last time we streamed this game. I will yeah. never play 5 hours of Lay of the Hunter with you. And guys. honestly, I'm I don't sorry. quite understand it cuz a lot of it's just standing here reeling, but yeah, there's just something fun something, about it. It's the multiplayer, I'm telling you. The multiplayer, multiplayer the is great. Ticket, 
the like, like oh what am i gonna get it's not like oh i know what i gotta go to this lake at this time and i'll find probably find a diamond here like that's cool you know the like way of the hunter it's like oh i know if i go to this area there's gonna be this here here it's like i don't know just every cast is a lottery ticket it's just like you're kind of like ooh, what am i gonna reel in next you know I, that's what i like which is what i like about hunting games too is you don't know what to expect yeah. That's why server hopping is so much fun in Call of the Wild. Like, multiplayer yeah. hopping in the Hunter, it's great. You never know what you're getting yourself into. Yeah, multiplayer will always have that effect, which is nice. Yeah, you definitely. Know, okay, this lake's got whitefish. If you're not into grinding, if you're not into the pond. herd management, there's always multiplayer. Yeah, yeah, and, and I think bo mean. bottom line is when it comes to enjoyment of this game, it's all about your perspective and ex and expectations of the game. If you expected a realistic experience, then definitely probably not going to be for you. But if you expected a Call of the Wild esque game, then it's exactly that. It's a Call yeah. of the Wild esque game. It's not going to be true to life realism as we've seen with the Hunter Call of the Wild. That's what I like about it. Murphy, having trouble catching bluegill. Too many tips for catching them. Well, first oh, off, you have to be... Go ahead, grow. No, you no, you were already doing it. First off, you got to be fishing somewhere where they are. And then, like, what are you, what are you trying to catch them with, Murphy? What were, what were we catching them with? Spinner? I never caught one. I think just spinner bait. The only one, because I've only caught a couple for, blue, bluegill. for bluegill. It Oh yeah, it's size eight spinner bait. Size eight spinner bait. Um, I would use fluoro, some fluoro line. I was using eleven pound, and I caught one. And yeah, then, exactly, Siv. Like that would have. And then yeah, kept them from so pretty. much uh, scrutiny and oh, uh, problems. Like just labeling it as early access and saying that it's more arcadey than realistic would have avoided so many of the issues. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was kind of. Yeah, <laughs> the way they presented it and the, was kind of off, I think. Yeah, they, they kind of presented I, it yeah, as Marco, I mean, This game definitely is a relaxing game. If you're looking for a game to relax with, this is definitely one of those types of games. Like it's not it's it's one of the easier fishing games that I've played, but there's still a lot to go for. So you don't get bored from what? At least from my experience, there's still lots of stuff to chase for. There's the diamond fish. There's exploring the map. And it is very relaxing. You can just fish wherever you want as casually or as hardcore as you'd like to. Like It's definitely a very relaxing game. I This is one of the only games right now where I play it without recording. Like, I'll just play in my free time. Most of the time, if I play The Hunter Call of the Wild or Way of the Hunter, I'm recording or streaming it. But with this game, I actually just play this in my free time. Just around with Brobra. You have literally played the Hunter Call of the Wild for fun with me once, and we just went around and did challenges and stuff. And every yeah. time I hop in the angler, you're like, oh, I think I got like five, ten minutes. I can hop in the angler with you. And then I play for two hours. <laughs> yeah. And I make it to this. Oh, yeah. I can. Let's go. But yeah, okay, it's, there's something too. there that's like there's something there that's like palpable about it. And I think it. I think that's it. Is you can literally. Like with hunting, you have to. It's harder. You have to. You have to be paying more attention to it. With this, you can just go to a lake with a couple buddies, and um, the challenge is there. It's Ranking not easy. some lunkers. So that's cool. Like you're not going to just go yeah. and easily catch diamonds and stuff. So that's it's part of it. It's easier to like just like chat with your mates, you know, and like. It's but it's still, yeah, because you can you can just chill and fish, but it's still fulfilling because you had to learn how to catch these fish. So you're using something that yeah. you learned. So you get, and then things will change too. The fish will change of what they're hitting it's on. Definitely, and a, you're, there's definitely a psychological thing happening there, though. You know, I think like, I think I'm gonna go so back good, to the main area real quick, like the the main good, good outpost. Mix of things, but it is it's just very chill, and you just hang out and fish, use what you've learned. And if you get something huge on your line, it's super exciting. Um, oh, yeah. My cam is fixed. My cam was never the issue, Luca. It was the streaming software with the game. We figured out with one of the devs what the problem was. Sun's coming so, yeah. up, everybody. Oh, it is? Yeah, my I kind of saw that, but wasn't sure if it actually was. The sky just changed for me. Turned nice, like red. dude. Beautiful. Oh, dude. Cockeye salmon time. 
Yes, <laughs> yes, bro. bro. The Scrans Nagger is another reliable lightweight spinning rod. For yeah, that one's about for sure. twenty-two. Bring home the bacon. The Hangler? <laughs> no, they haven't. If if they did, Luca, you would have heard of it. Trust me. A stellar no, no, no release date yet for console. Sadly, it would, be, it would be all over YouTube. Every content creator under the sun would be posting about it. It would be all over Pretty Discord. Much. Everyone will be talking about it in all the general chats. Very, very like, unlikely that you would hear it from me. The Hamburglar, for sure. We need hamburg fishing. Fish hamburger fishing. Ham we need hamburgers Hamb for bait. <laughs> hamburger fishing, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could Go probably on. get some catfish to hit Dude. on some, like, ground beef. Diamond Big Mac, shoot, dude! I need that. It's got a, dude, it's got extra cheese on it. Oh my god! My gosh! I'm just buying a bunch of the lures that I was missing now. Hey, these lake trout need to start biting. Are you kidding me? I mean, it's almost daytime. They should soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got to now. First time I saw these, it's morning. I thought they were real, and if they can fool me, they can sure fool a fish. Now they don't have any excuse. I'm just going to buy all the different uh, lures that I, I think I might fun. use at some point. Great one whopper. I haven't oh, tried man. using the jerk baits. I'm going to try oh. those a little bit. I suddenly want a whopper now. Dude, yes. All I had to do was read that, and now I want a whopper. You know, in my opinion, the whopper and whopper junior are like two of the only good burgers from Burger King. Yeah, jerk. definitely. Yeah, totally everything true. else, it's 100%. like it, it. It's so overpriced for what you get and for how it tastes. It's like yeah. <laughs> the thing with Burger King for me, I can't do it very often. It has to be oh, like same. just a once in a while thing. It may even tempt a few that aren't yeah. hungry yet. It also doesn't help recently? that most of the most of the Burger Kings that I've gone to, they are very subpar. I've gone to a couple yeah. like when I was younger that were really good. But then, like, the last one I went to, their food was dry. It tasted and looked like it had been sitting out on a hot pad for five hours. Yeah, it definitely depends on the location. Definitely. Have you been to a Wendy's recently? Yeah. I, I'm a big fan. Yeah. I feel Wendy's like they upped their game recently. Oh, What's yeah, but nothing, nothing beats Five Guys, though. I Wendy's do love great. Five Guys. Did you five just guys try Wendy's amazing. for the first time recently? Is that what you said, bro, bro? No, um, I just feel like they've they've upped their game recently like i yeah. used to think wendy's was bad and like they're just really like good subpar. I think, they're great I feel like they changed something Dude, i believe &W, they did a and w 100 always they still have so those in canada yeah you guys don't have a and w not oh, we, a whole lot we have anymore. some but not a lot a lot of them have shut down oh dude an a and w teen burger unbelievable we used to good. have the we used to have like the double trouble you got a and w on one side and you got uh, Long John Silver's on the other side. Long John mm. Silver's never had Long John Silver's. <laughs> yeah, I haven't heard. I haven't seen one of those in ages. Long John Silver's was a fit. It was a fast food fish company. You can imagine why that one. Yeah, yeah, this. yeah, yeah. I've <laughs> yeah. only heard bad things about that. <laughs> but was, that's the same as like Red Lobster and stuff, isn't it? No, like Long John Silver's like the McDonald's of. Oh, like horrible! Fast food. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was dangerous. So what's what, what's Red Lobster? Like? Red Lobster is like uh, you have chilies up there. Uh, I think we have a few. I Not think many, like, uh, do you have an Applebee's? I've never been to one. We have Applebee's. Wow. Okay, horrible. so uh, Red Lobster is like a little. Do you have Olive Garden? Yep. Terrible. Okay, so Red Lobster is like uh, the seafood version of Olive Garden. Ugh. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, not great. Horrifying. Not great. Yeah, Pizza Hut and Taco Bell, yeah, they're owned by the same uh, company. That's that's why that's a thing. Um, but yeah, AW Long John Silvers, that's not a thing in Canada, I don't think. Long John, uh, I don't the, the, the whistle a dog anywhere. chip. Never had the whistle dog at AW. All right, let's see what this I new setup do, is like. I do the teen burger or the Mott's burger or the chubby chicken. Yeah, Texas Roadhouse House is pretty good. Pretty, Prism Brands. I worked for Pizza Hut when I was in high school. Unless they've changed companies, but it was Prism Brands when I was working for them. Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, KFC. All right, there Hut. we go. Hey, it's finally daytime. This is beautiful. The morning is here, and so are, hopefully, Salmon. Lake Trout. Oh, yeah, we could go for sockeyes, too. 
I think morning is best for the salmon, and then lake trout. Early Dude, morning lake is trout good. Are not biting at all. They're Early morning is best dudes. for salmon, and then like late morning to midday is great for lake trout. I've found. Come on yeah. down, come on down south. Come on, keep, no, keep going. If I'm being honest, I don't like Domino's in in when it comes to like keep pizza going. places. I feel like there's better pizza places. Good luck to you, fucker. Uh, yeah, there you go. Not a fan of Domo Domino's or Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut's so bad. Domino's is. Definitely got a leg up on pizza, um, but it's still not great. Pizza it's not good compared good. to the other ones that I've had. Like uh, my favorite uh, pizza place is Figaro's. It's not anywhere except well, for the West Coast, though. I think it's a West Coast U.S. thing. I've only seen them in Oregon and maybe California, but oh, Figaro's is phenomenal, man. Like they're, um, uh, I think it's called the. I think it's like San Jose chicken and barbecue chicken barbe barbecue chicken or something like that. I got my clothes back. Nice chip. It's that's, something that's barbecue solid. chicken. I know that, and it's, it's so a solid good. order. Nice. That sounds good, man. You guys don't have Panago, hey? I think Panago is only mm. Canada. Panago. Never is heard of it. Solid. No. That I've heard a good. lot of people say that Mod Pizza is amazing, but I've never had it. Oh, it's like a build your own pizza, pizza place. It is very good. I've heard it's great. Now, what's your favorite, like, store-bought boxed pizza? Um, oh, what is it? Um, Dr. Oetker's? Dr. Dr. Oetker's. That's what we have here. Like, some of my favorites are, um, there's these, these, like, giant two-pound Wild Mike's pizza. You can get, like, a two-pound pizza. Oh, I've heard of that, You dude. can get, like, a two-pound pizza for, like, $7. It's insane. That was on, that was on Moist Critical's, uh, pizza tier list. Oh, there. yeah, I love the Wild Mike's. They're so, they're really good value-wise. Like, for seven bucks, there. you get a giant two-pound Supreme pizza. Lasts, Jeez. like, Where are we going, two days. Bro? I can eat like maybe two slices out of like eight of eh, maybe that's actually stretching it. I can, it's maybe like two of six pieces. Like if I cut it into six slices, I can eat like two and then I'm like stuffed. And so like one of those pizzas lasts like two days for me. Unless I'm sharing Jeez. it, of course. Hey, see, are you going to come um, over here and, and join us? Or what? I will. Is it becoming nighttime again? No, oh, daytime. It's, it's getting darker. <laughs> it's just the, um, where the sun is, you know? It's because All you're right. up, you're in a valley up there, and the shadows are kind of hitting weird over the peaks. Gotcha. Okay. Little Caesars. Do you guys have Little Caesars? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We have Little Caesars. Dude. And it's got better over the years. It used to be terrible. Has it gotten better? Has it actually gotten better? Dude, they... Okay, so the the listen to this. I haven't... When it was, well, Connor, when it was first a thing... That that on little Caesar, little Caesars is better than Domino's. I haven't tried it Little Caesars. It is. Like, no joke. It. It's way better now, oh, and it's cheaper. I gave up. I gave up on Little Caesars like 10 years ago. Oh, okay, well, that was that was the in, issue. Dude. Back then, they were terrible, overly grease-fest pizzas. Well, it was just like, like the back then, they were, were like greasy cardboard. and sloppy. Oh, now it's like, really it's cardboard. real pizza now. It's good pizza. And no way. for the value, you can't It's great. It. Like Luca, six, literally like six dollars, dude. Six bucks, you got yourself a delicious pepperoni pizza. What? Come. Yeah, but I don't do pepperoni pizza. I, I got well, Supreme. they also have Supreme. They've got Hawaiian pizzas. They've got that type of stuff too. But those are usually like seven or eight dollars. They're a little bit more. Are you coming, Casey? Yeah, I'm coming right now. Gosh, just waiting it's for you, man. Lake trout. But yeah, the um, yeah, uh, Little Caesars is great now. It's actually really mm -hmm. good. It. I I, I was shocked. Like uh, when like. when Bree first moved moved over Where here a few years ago. We went to Little Caesars, and it was the first time I had had it since I was, like, 15 or 16. And I was blown away. I was like, is, this is Little Caesars? What? It's so yeah, much are, better. Okay, I might even order it tonight if they're open. Um, dude, yeah, like, back when, back when I first on... had it, like, their pizzas were thin. They were bottom. soaked in grease. Like, you could Very pick bottom. it up, and oh, grease would just drip off of it. Now, it's real pizza. We are oh under the... Gosh, this map. Under the outpost icon, very bottom center. Holy. There um, she is. It's, it's a Brie in, in the chat. I'm assuming you're attempting to join us in the fishing. Yeah, I don't have the outpost down there if there's an outpost. Um, well, go to the nearest outpost and we'll boat to I'll you. Drive. 
Well, we're we're gonna be going up river, so. Oh, okay. Hang on. I just went down here because I assumed this would be the one that most likely everybody would have, but looks like it's not. And just yeah, fast we'll travel to your nearest location, and we'll boat to you. Like, like north of you. Uh, wherever. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm. I mean, I'm across from you, but I don't think this is an ideal spot for me to be. One oh, sec. that's um, that's fine. Yeah. That's that's fine. You we'll we'll come get you. Here. We'll drive to you. How about that? We'll meet in the middle, and we'll fish at that little pond in the middle between us. All right. uh, yeah, Matthew, there is still an issue with joining friends, sadly. I, they are working on it, though, and want to get it fixed, so hopefully soon. Didn't they say that multiplayer is one of their, like, one of the things they like the most about this? Game, like, in one of those, like, developer diary videos, when he was talking to TK. And so it was, like, one of the things that they wanted to focus on after release. Well, that's interesting that they said that. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I haven't well, I seen was, any of the developer stuff. I think it was he specifically said like one of the things like going forward, like after release. Is so, what? Multiplayer. Oh, yeah. yeah. The other okay. thing, too, is you can only test so much in testing when, once you release it out to the public. Oh, bro, bro. Um, a lot can go there. wrong that may have been may have may have been kind of like impossible to detect beforehand. All right. I'm driving your way as well. Oh, we're driving your way. Dude, a crazy bread from Little Caesars is always a big hit, though. It always has yeah. been. Oh, Crow so, is driving once again. That means we're I all going to die. Um, I was kind of like looking at all the negative reviews and stuff. And over my lunch break today, I watched. Um, Rewatched like one of the videos that one of the I think Rushy did with TK. And he really focused on like the realism aspect of it of like being open world and just going to whatever body of water and fishing there mm. and that was what he like really like hit on and what they were excited about and i think when they were talking about realistic fishing i think that's kind of what they had in mind not necessarily oh, I like think the so speed too, definitely. of fishing or like the style wait breeze in here how did Bree get in here so fast skill <laughs> skill hacks she's just that skilled Cheats, wow, all hacks, four of mods. us in one server. Exploits. What? Yeah, okay. That's so actually, apparently, what? That's wild. They fixed the issue. Hey, Casey. Uh, I think there's just less people joining this server because <laughs> it's later at night. <laughs> nice, Coastal. That's awesome, dude. Congrats you on your first go, diamond. You guys want to go back? Or do you just want to go to that little lake up there? Well, we were going to go for some Sakai right? Salamones. Salamones? Salamones. Salamones? Yeah. I think we'll Bree's going to join us over here, up. too. Okay. This is going to be insane if we can all be fishing in the same area, just cranking in fish left and right. Oh, shoot. Little Caesars is open. It is, dude. Yeah. Order it. Order yeah. it. I would recommend their Hawaiian pizza. I think it's one of the best Hawaiian pizza I've had. Well, you know me. You guys have, you guys or wait, wait. Do you? No, it was their, um, it was their Supreme. Their Supreme oh, is phenomenal. Okay, well, I like both of those things. I gotta see yeah, what get the Supreme, oh. dude. Where does it show? Man, I really wish there was collision for vehicles in this game. Oh, Hop in, Casey. Dude. Hop in, and we'll take you to this gotta lake. Make sure I order before they close. Get your order right. in. Then. Well, let's uh, uh, you know what? Let's uh, go pick Bree up. They do pizza you can fit with white four sauce. people in the vehicle, no, so... No, I'm interested. It's not pizza with, with white sauce. That's, like, some kind of weird bread with sauce on it. It's got to have tomato <laughs> sauce or, barbe or barbecue sauce. I, barbecue, I barbecue sauce, sauce is line. the way to go. Like, uh, barbecue chicken pizzas are some of my favorites. He's way up there. Yeah, we'll get there in, like, 0.2 seconds, though. Medium pepperoni pizza, $8. What the heck? Isn't that just great? But why is a Hawaiian seventeen dollars then? If a pepperoni is only eight, what? Oh, I forgot Canadian prices. I was talking like yeah, USD. This is Canadian. Yeah, it's like six dollars for the pepperoni here, and then I think it was like, I can't remember. Maybe it was eleven or twelve for the Supreme, but it definitely wasn't that expensive. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, they they're not like the typical like Little Caesars pizza when you buy the Supremes or like those types. They're more of like a full pizza. Oh, they do stuffed crust Loaded now. with hilarious. toppings and stuff. Oh, yeah, they're they're really trying to, like, become, like, a normal pizza chain. 
Well, they're doing well. good with it too. Like, they're still cheaper than most other places, and their pizza is actually pretty tasty. Tasty, tasty. Woo! Tasty. Caught a little bit of air there, threw us off the road, but we're okay. Welcome did back, Vinok. How's it going? Free, did you fast travel back? Oh, they got stuffed crazy have. bread now. Dude, they're, what? um... What? They're, like, cheesy, what? cheesy garlic bread is so good. You just missed the turn, Crow. Their cheesy bread sticks are great. Oh, I was going to this gauge guy. Yeah. He's oh, back at totally. this outpost. Shh, no. <laughs> Why did she do that? Where, what are you da, doing? Da, 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 uh, Kanan, thank da, da. you so much for the super chat. I have no idea what that means. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to elaborate. <laughs> but oh, I appreciate it. Are you gonna talk about rap culture and not know how to hit the gritty? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, 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 that is a Bro, giant Bro, you're gonna have to elaborate too. Irony. That is a giant bite of irony. Well, I know, like, primarily modern underground rap, but you know. Oh, man, this is why you should be on TikTok with me. I know mainly, like, uh, modern underground rap and, like, Florida rap. Have you uh, seen Jamar Florida Chase's, rap. um... Yeah, like... Pitch on Celebration? Convict rap. It, yeah, something. <laughs> Convict like, a lot, a lot of the, like, heavy gang rap, that type of stuff. Oh, Johnny. Johnny knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't watch yeah, I don't watch football either. <laughs> Cause you're a dweeb. Oh, you accidentally joined our map metal? Nice, dude. Nice. Everybody's in here. It's a party. We basically own this server. Oh, it's a dance, gotcha. Yeah, I don't I don't pay attention to, to dances unless it's like I guess the, the super big notable ones from years ago, like the, the whip and nene and those types of things. Line dancing, but I I never really paid attention to them. Regardless, I just knew about them. Line dancing, <laughs> yeah. This is um, this is why me and Johnny hang out in the sports chat. Yeah. Ooh, tree. Grab this tree, guys. Uh, hold on, hold on. I got my map. Yeah, chip. Totally. <laughs> Better report that tree, boys. All right, it's reported. This rotten rust won't know what's coming. Yes, they are. They are indeed, Caitlin. You see, those are those are the only like rap dances that I know about. The old world pepperoni? What the heck is that? It's like um finely aged. Oh, we pepperoni. got a Bigfoot track. Bigfoot track? What? Can't see it. Oh, I don't it's, see that. It's it's below. I don't think we I don't think we have that. No, Barbecue you do. Barbecue meat overload. What the Look at that. Bigfoot has a footprint here. Old world pepper. That's pretty cool. Dish. Dude, I've been hounding TK and the team and the Call of the Wild team. Well, really just community managers about uh, adding. Oh, Breeze here. There she is. About adding Bigfoot to the Better game. hop on in the vehicle. We got room for one more in here, though. Hey. They got dips. There we go. Gotta have my dips. It is time for some fun. Johnny, that is so sad that he doesn't watch football. He should be a Chiefs fan. I stopped Chiefs watching games. football in the 2014. Fanceroni pepperoni? I don't think I saw that. The only football I've watched since 2014 is the highlights from the last two Super Bowls. That's it. Classic pepperoni. Uh, so you've seen Patrick Mahomes. Extra pepperoni. A little bit, yes. Uh... uh Fanceroni, it is there. Holy. The only the that's only the thing that one? sparked me to watch the last two Super Bowl highlights was because Brady and the Bucks were in the one. Why is it cheaper? You are I'm That was the I'm only reason you. I was like, ah oh, yes, Brady got into I'm, another Super Bowl. Let's go. I'm over you right now. I'm just completely <laughs> over you. Hey, what could I, I say? Do. Like I I was you a fan of the Patriots lot. back in like twenty like two thousand and nine to two thousand and twelve. And then I, I stopped watching football in like twenty fourteen. So like around uh, that period, like actually I think it was like 2010 to 2014 was when I really watched football. Always a fan of the Patriots. 
Got got to check up on Brady when he's in a Super Bowl, you know. Well, you know, Patrick Mahomes is the next greatest thing. So. And Gronk. Gronk was always my favorite on uh, uh, the Patriots. Hilarious. Everybody loves Gronk. Yeah, Gronk. Gronk was always my favorite. Like ever since I had started watching football, I was like Gronkowski. Yeah, that guy. That guy's cool. Drunk and he's Kelsey. amazing too. Extra pepperoni. Yeah, I don't really do pep. Just pepperoni pizza. I get so bored of that. Like two. I. I have like. What two about bites meat lovers like, pizza? And then I'm just like, my brain is just like, where's okay? Where are the rest of the toppings? You seem like a meat lovers kind of guy. I like meat lovers. I like I like some veggies on there though. So yeah, just basically supreme then. Yeah. Yeah, supreme's or the Hawaiian. way to go. It's I my like favorite Hawaiian. type of pizza. Supreme Sweet. and then barbecue are my two favorites. They've got like a sweet and spicy barbecue. That we sounds this, really oh, good. Oh, new fast travel. There we go. We got a new fast travel location. Ooh, it's got oh. pineapple on it. What the? What the heck? I have watched some Formula pizzas, One. Hey? An American? Nah, they don't do small pizzas. Mediterranean it's an, chicken. Oh, it's that, an American maybe that's chain. the one that I had. That might have been the other one that we had. That that one is pretty good. Uh, oh, there's a bone. There is oh. a fossil right here. Who me? That's not nice. <laughs> I mean, if, sure. <laughs> Sure, like sure dude. <laughs> All right, everybody buckle up. Oh, what? I can't get the fossil. Oh, I already got that one. Everybody uh, safely in here? I beat the game. All right, the well, game. let's say uh, sh sh go. Just going to place the order on the website. It's just going to be like, sorry, we were closed. Oh, it's totally going to happen. That's happened to me so many times. Oh, sorry. I was looking at my phone. Pepperoni, pineapple, and bacon. That sounds good. Black olives with pepperoni? Ooh, I just don't know about that. I like olives on pizza. I think they're great. Uh, bow fishing. Um, I haven't gotten any trophies, that's for sure. I haven't been getting all that many. I've been trying to fish for lake trout and not been having any luck. No texting and driving. Come on now, Johnny. I nice, wasn't Connor. texting. I was pulling good. the stream up. I wouldn't text and drive. I just watch and drive. Yeah, but like, I, I definitely. Yeah, Kaylin, pretty much. Normal pepperoni, your basic cancer. Be, well, at least you admit it. I think it'd be so cool to have like, like just to see Bigfoot like, run through on Way of the Hunter or like in Call of the Wild, like. Yeah. As you're like looking through your binoculars or something, you'd never be able to shoot them or sick. anything. Anytime you get your camera out, it goes fuzzy or something. Yeah, Chip. <laughs> now we're talking. That'd be great. Talking, well, Feta is a good call. Feta cheese. You guys have. You, you know what feta type of pizza, pizza is very I underrated. I feel um, like margarita pizza is one of the most underrated pizzas. Well, only here. If you go to if you go to Italy, it's very much not underrated. <laughs> yeah, but like I don't know anybody that eats margarita I at a restaurant pizza really. For, yeah, we did margarita pizzas at a restaurant I worked at. But yeah, it's, it's so good. Just, it's just an American thing. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's really good. It's definitely not underrated here in Kansas City. That's for sure. Oh, Especially it's, it's like. Yeah, here I don't properly. see a lot of people buy it. Every artisanal Italian restaurant here in Kansas City has margarita pizza on the menu. Nice. Oh, let's go by. Let's get those fast travel locations. And drive on up the river and start a fishing. Oh. oh. Hey, we stayed on the road. That's just You're how good my doing driving is today. so much better than you normally do driving. I'm very proud of you. Well, I'm actually trying this time, so that probably helps. <laughs> I'm actually we, trying to drive well this time around. I heard if you what use are the we, controller what are we gonna, layout. Oh, nice. I got a new fast travel location. What are we going to... All right, oh, wait, everybody. Are we hunting? Are we, hunting? Are we fishing late, lake trout? Uh, no, we're going for kokanee. Oh, for, oh, that's fine, actually. Yeah. That's why we were all coming over here is for the kokanee. We're going to jump in the all boat right. and uh, go up the river because there is a pretty awesome kokanee spot up here. Nice. I still haven't caught one. Oh, Brober's driving, it looks like. All right, Up let's in. do it. Brober's oh, driving. Great. Well, we're all going to die. Nice knowing you guys. Yeah, this uh, is the end. So what's the setup for Kokanee sa for cockeye salmon? Uh, yeah. Uh, cockeye salmon. They like uh, size 7 spinners, uh, spinner baits, uh, anything small and that spins. All right, we all in? Is Bree in here? Can anybody verify um, that? I can't. Let me, let me jump out real quick and I'll look. 
Spinnerbait, I'm going to use a... Um, just five? Yes, Call she's in. for her. She's in the same house as you. Just yell. Well, she's downstairs, though. Oh. And the door is shut. Yell loud. I don't know. I believe she is... Uh, I mean, she was standing on the boat. Okay, I see feet there. I can't see if there's the somebody eight. behind me, though. Is there somebody behind me, bro, bro? Oh, Clinton, you could see. Is she in the boat? How big are these kokney salmon? Mr. Kill Clinton, is she in the Hi. boat? <laughs> One sec. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, yeah, she just said in chat she's here. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> she was standing on the edge of the boat, so I couldn't tell if she was actually in it or not. Uh, if standing you need this... If you need this weather, world. I buoy, think I've got it. it, but I believe Casey and Bree will both need it. But I think I've got it. Yeah, I do. What size spinner bait you guys using? Seven I'm using six. size seven spinner, like not spinner bait, but normal spinner. I gotcha. get hits on both spinner and spinner bait size seven or six. Even the size eight uh, spinner bait works too. I think. Yep, I've got a size seven spinner, so I'm gonna use that. Nice, nice, nice. Go, I see go. a tree over there that we could grab. Hey, Bobby, welcome. Don't think I've grabbed that one. So my kokanee spot is about 2,500 Thanks, feet Chip. up the river. I do have this one already. Uh, do you guys see this tree? Mm, looks like... I already have it, but I'm sure they don't. Let's beach her real quick. There we go. Grabbing that tree? Hmm? Grabbing that tree? Okay. Oh, you're naked. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, see. I grabbed the tree. Just because you Wait, get what? out of the boat doesn't mean you can Come run around Come naked. On. Oh, am I naked? Whoops. Put your clothes back on, man. The only time see, you can be naked is if you're actually screen. in the boat fishing. Did you get a stuck, bro, bro? Oh, dude. I'm wiggling this tree. <laughs> you can never say anything about my boat driving it's again. It's the wiggle technique. Wiggle <laughs> technique. Oh, hit a rock. You're doing great. You're oh, doing oh, so oh, good. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Oh. Let's catch, let's that catch was a kokanee salmon. right there. Just jumped into our boat. Hey, you guys want to catch some salmon? Yeah. Solomon. The wise. <laughs> Oh yeah, Bigfoot event in Call of the Wild would be great. I'd love that. Hey, yeah, boat dock. That is yep. not a fast travel location though. Just yeah, there's out. literally nowhere to fast travel around here. Yeah, we're almost to the no. the spot that I was catching the kokanee yesterday though. We got we got Bro Brown driving at the moment. Nice boots, the road. Bro. Oh my gosh. At the road, dude. What are you doing? My dad, what for the? some reason, my dad when we. Okay, driving. right here. Right here is where I was catching them, I think. Nice. Yeah, right Jumping here, out. I believe. All right. Yep. Here we go. Fall in? Oh, no, no, I'm chilling. For some reason, my dad, like, whenever the car, like, if we were on a road trip or something and it got quiet, my dad would, like, jerk the steering wheel and... Freak everybody out, but I can't in the road. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know why. I don't know why. And that, that sounds like something that my dad would have done. Oh, there's a go. There's a go. <laughs> there's a go. There we a go. Goat? We got a kokanee. You got a goat on the line? Oh my oh, god. We got a kokanee on. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, really? Yeah, that's a good one already. Oh, I, got, I got a hit too. Look at this dude. Oh. That's a big silver. Two and a half pounds. Oh. Look at us go! We're doing great. Oh, I got a kokanee. I got a cockeye. Cockeye salmon. <laughs> cockeye salmon. Oh, that's a delicious one. It's a cockadoodle doo oh, salmon. Bronze. Uh, Let's go. This is a big fish right here. Let's go. I think that's a. I think that's a rainbow. Oh, there we go. See fish on. Another fish. Yep, hooking another. I see one right there. Oh yeah, I'm about to get another one too. Well, good job, bro. It's a little honey hole, man. It's great, dude. Whoa, whoa. This ain't a kokanee, I don't think. Oh, oh it is. It's just a tiny one. Oh, oh, that is a terrible idea. Okay, so my guy is lipping the kokanee with his fingers. <laughs> That's a bad idea. If this yeah, is the spawn way. this is the spawning form with the hook jaw and the giant teeth. Oh gosh, no. 
Like I've been I've been swiped by a spawning Chinook before and it rips your hand up. Oh I would oh. not want to grab a spawning kokanee by the lip. That's a terrible idea. Are there golden trout in here too? Chip's saying there's di there's diamond golden trout around it. Dude, I have so many salmon around the boat right now. Oh yeah, they're everywhere. They're jumping like crazy. I love this area for Kokanee. Like this is by far been the best place that I've found oh, for them. Okay, I just caught a golden trout. <laughs> oh nice. Nice. I haven't seen too many of them here. Though I I guess I only fished here last night, so. Oh, you got one After too? Nice, nice. Bree ended up getting one. Oh, nice. we're all we're all looking into fish. Well, that's a one decent one. That looks like another a decent one, maybe salmon. a gold. Little bronze. Oh, just a little dude. Oh well, this is a different uh, salmon arctic. This isn't uh, this isn't coho. These are uh, kokanee, which is like the landlocked form it. of a sockeye salmon. Got a little another rainbow trout over here. That's not What's bad. This? What do we got? I saw a few in front of me right here. I'm just gonna real quickly flip it out lightly. What is this? Oh, I just got a rainbow it's a fish. trout. Uh, actually, Arctic. That is the that is what a spawning um a spawning sockeye looks like. And since kokanee are a landlocked sockeye. Uh, it's just the same the same model as what a uh, sockeye would look like. See, dogfish, that is... Dog salmon are the chum salmon, right? I believe so. I believe that's chum salmon. They're a little bit more brownish. They're not quite as bright. Wow, Chip, that's a lot. Oh, oh, I got a big rainbow going for it. Oh, okay, cockeye. things are about to get real. This is very light tackle mm. for the most part, so... Oh, never, never mind. Maybe it's not Dude, as big so as I thought. Fish I'm yeah, I just got an eight pound, si eight pound silver rainbow trout. Nice. nice. Oh, I just leveled up. I Level forty nine. Let's go. Maybe. Yeah. No. Oh, Mount Whitefish, a big silver. Wait, nice. what? There's whitefish here too. Dude, this spot's <laughs> insane. There's there's, there's kokanee. There's whitefish. The there's white golden fish trout. Caught. Rainbow trout. This area is just great. Not gonna lie, this actually really does remind me of spawning salmon. Like, with these kokanee being in, like, their spawning form, it makes yeah. sense that there would be tons of them bunched up at, like, the mouth of a river. Yeah, yeah. Which, that I really do like. This brings back so many, like, memories of fishing salmon. Obviously, you don't keep the ones that are uh, spawning, but just seeing them... Is always crazy. Yeah. Bree got a whitefish too. I wonder if respawning nice. salmon's any different. Nah. Sorry, <laughs> My bad, bad. gosh, stop it. <laughs> bad joke. <laughs> I can't. No. I can't handle it. I can't take it. Oh, I think that's a salmon. I got another one. Dude, every cast I'm getting a bite. Oh, yeah, that's a rainbow. Not a rainbow. Uh, Kokanee. Cockeye. Nice, dude. Oh, somebody's salmon. got a big one on. Oh, I believe that's you, bro, bro. I saw a big one next to your uh, lure. Oh, that's tiny. Oh, that's silver. on now. Nice. Yeah, that looked like a good sockeye. Oh, you mean cockeye? Yes, definitely. Just bronze. The Saucony Salmon. Yeah, he's lipping that bronze. That's... He must have steel... He must have, like, steel uh, gloves on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to protect from those teeth. It's steel tip gloves. Yeah, there was one time... Uh, when I was younger that I was fishing for fishing trout cool, Dante. I was fishing for trout right and in a lot of the rivers around here the trout and the salmon will be around like the same time like trout season goes into salmon season and so I was fishing for some trout and I hooked a like 10 pound Chinook on a spinner one that was like at the early stages of its spawning form so it had a little bit of the hook jaw it had some big old teeth. I was trying to get the uh, the spinner out of its mouth. And I had forgot my pliers, so I was just trying to be as careful as I could, like, pulling it out. It flipped its head so hard and just ripped my hand up. Like, both of those giant teeth on the upper jaw just shredded my hand. 
crap. Don't want to mess with those things. Uh, Vinok, Another. thank you for the super chat, dude. Before I fall asleep, I enjoy the stream later. Later, dude, thank you for dropping in. We've been uh, having some fun here, and I hope you had a lot of fun watching as well. Oh, there we go. Oh, someone's got Fish a good on. rainbow, looks like. And I hit the... Okay. Bree, Bree's got a good rainbow, looks like. Oh, nice. I just got a rainbow. Bronze. Oh, there we go. Hokanee just absolutely smoked that lure. Yeah, little bronze. There's one next to it that was bigger, though. At least a silver. This is great. This might be one of my favorite places we've gone to it's a today. Good spot. I think this is I'm a blast. You, the early mornings are best for the for uh, this area. Oh, definitely. This whole, this whole river. You can get some bigger ones if you go up further. There's some like little inlets with some deep water. Honestly, I do really like that um, different fish bite yeah, more chip. at different times of day. <laughs> I really chip. like that. <laughs> What's up? Sup, dude. Nice trout. That's a decent uh, kokanee. Oh, you dude, got a good rainbow? rainbow on. Yeah. That's a good one. Probably a 10 pounder. Yep, 10.72. Yeah, this is a great setup, eh? A good uni universal setup with the, with the spinnerbait. Oh. oh, definitely. The spinnerbait's great. And the one that I'm catching tons of these uh, kokanee with is the size 7 regular spinner. It is just slaying them. There we go. Take it. Take a bait. That's something there. And, uh, I'm looking there at a pretty big. There you go. Um, like maybe a rainbow. Nice, oh. dude. That guy doesn't want it. Wow. You know they're big. Whenever you can see Swim. them, right? Past Ooh, I see a big rainbow too. The lure. Well, you can see them like 60 feet out. And you can see them oh, under the water. You know they're big. Oh, I got something coming in for it. Here we go. The rainbow's take, going take, for it. Take it, take it. Oh, you got a rainbow on too. Nice. Oh. oh, there we go. Rainbow on. I think I got one too. Mine's kind of small though. Straight in. Hey, Galaxy, how's <laughs> it going? I got a nice uh, screenshot <laughs> there. Yours completely blocks mine. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> like your character is just in the middle of my screen. <laughs> I, I took a screenshot of it. <laughs> that's great. Uh, unfortunately, that's not how it works in this game, Aiden. I can't just open a map up to the public. It's all uh, dedicated servers. And it's kind of just like if you get into the same server, you get into the same server. The only way to like join people is to have them what? on your get friends it. list. Your line snapped. So Did it hit the boat? She's using the beginner rod. Bree? Who me? Oh, no, but I think Bree's using the beginner. Rod. I just I've no, I don't think it's the beginner just, like, one. Dodging my bait. It's kind of weird. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, we got a good kokanee on. Look at that one, dude. That might be a gold. Probably is. Oh, it's a big gold. Three point ninety six pounds. That was almost a diamond. Nice. That was incredibly yeah. close to being a diamond. Wow, that fish does not want anything to do with my lure. You know, I have two cockeye salmon over here that won't hit on my Dang lure, it. but others will. Oh my gosh, that's so They're weird. Just being yeah. stubborn, man. I've got this one that just won't take it. Change to a spinner bait. See if it hits on the spinner bait. Yeah. Oh, you wanted me to open the map up so you could look at it. Okay. Yeah, it's right here. This little river is amazing for kokanee. It's so so good. We're kind of like right where the the red road ends. There's like a boat dock down here as well. Uh, right over there. This area is great. Absolutely amazing okay, for kokanee. Small fish. Also, a decent amount of rainbow trout and golden trout and mountain whitefish here too, but primarily kokanee. I've only gotten one diamond so far, bronze goat. I've only gotten the diamond golden. I well, almost got, got a diamond lake trout. I got a 34 pounder. Oh, fish on. I have a couple diamonds, but I'm not going to say what they are because they haven't been in a video yet. But soon. Hang on. I gotta catch that fish. What is that? What is that over there? Some sort of fish. fish is this a rainbow? No, it's a kokanee. Okay. A silver what? one. Nice. Oh, no. 
Uh, it depends, MB1. There is some fast travel locations, like these little points of interest you can fast travel to. You can fast travel to outposts and also trailheads. But you can't fast travel directly to boat docks or vehicle bays. Like, uh, There are some that you can't fast travel to, but a lot of them are fast travel locations. That's get a it, fish get right that there. Bait. Get that bait. Here we go. I see so many coconuts whoops, still. Whoops, what the heck? I almost cut the line by accident. There we go. I don't know what the heck that fish was. Oh, on little a dude. Good rainbow. Fish on. Oh, a really good rainbow. Big silver. Nice. 8.2 8 pounder. I think I got another kokanee on. Not huge, though, from what I can tell. I see a little mountain light fish. Whoa, like, what is that? that? Oh, it's a rainbow. It's a five pound rainbow. Uh, you missed a few big fish, Lane. We got a couple good golds, but no diamonds yet. Ooh, big we did just get a kokanee that was less than half a pound off a diamond, though. So we're moving up in the world. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, Here yeah, dude. Way of the Hunter is very here. satisfying. I keep missing that. You got a big salmon on? Yeah, I do. Nice. I'm going to try and reel this up quick so I can look at oh it. Oh, my. <laughs> Where did it go? I'm going to keep I uh, setting the hook looking in this direction. It's like right in front of me on the boat here. Oh, well, just flip out where you think it is. It should go back to it. It'll still be interested if you didn't hook it. I think I've only had there about three or four casts that didn't catch a fish in this spot. Same. <laughs> yeah, me too. Every long cast that I've done has caught something. It's just like the little flip cast for specific fish that have been hit or miss. Yeah. Oh, I got a different one coming for it. Oh, I got to get that big salmon. Yeah, you're going to find that to be like the main cause of what? a specific fish not binding is if another gets interested first. You know, I would love it if multiple fish could go for your lure at once and like fight over it. Yeah. You can see that causing issues. You know? Quickest fish gets the lure. Little guy. We need that big one. The little 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 the little little feller. That is not easy to say. The little little feller. Little 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 feller. Oh, I see what you mean, Chip. Gotcha. I do some YouTube shorts, MB. Not a ton of them, but I do them occasionally. I probably should do them more often, but I just forget to. This might be the first cast with nothing, guys. There we go. No? Yeah, did not get anything that cast. Wow. I got a fish over here. I don't know what it wants. See a kokanee right there. I like how hard it is to get a diamond. Me too. I love it. Yeah, I have like... Seems like it's very tough. I have, what, 32 hours? And I don't have a diamond? That's awesome. Nice, Mad Dog. That's awesome to hear. Mad Dog was saying that they've never found a hunting or fishing game they really liked until now. Can't put away Way of the Hunter or the Angler down. Loving them both. That is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Way of the Hunter is so solid. I've always had trouble staying interested in fishing games. This this is probably the first one for me as well, where I'm going to be hooked for a long time. I think, honestly, the big thing really is that it's not perfectly realistic and that fish aren't impossible to, to catch. That in the open world, obviously. The open world is a huge positive for me. Is that, that another... That fish does not want my lure at all. That's yeah, a rainbow. I've got, I've got a wind? fish here. I don't know where that big guy went. I've put 
Spinner bait, spinner. <laughs> yes. I put a popper down, and this thing doesn't want it. It it don't want none. I'm gonna cast out don't in front of you, bro, bro. Gonna catch a fish right in front of your eyes, and it's gonna be bigger than that one. Good. I see the tiniest rainbow trout ever to my left. Oh, I got something chasing it. It looks like a rainbow. Looks like an average rainbow. There you go. Just flipping in a kokanee like it's yeah. nothing. That poor thing. I kind of feel bad for it. I got that off a of popper, by go. the way. Size like, 7 popper. A popper? Yeah. Really? Size oh, 7 popper. Fish on. Rainbow? Kokanee. Is it a big one? I'm not sure. Nah, I don't think so. It's not bad. It's a bronze. Ah, little dude. Nice. At least you're catching them. Yeah, I'm just happy that we're all that catching fish went. here. I cast kind of like out in between you two and see if maybe, maybe right there's back, something guys. out here. I'll go all right. Pee. Look. Thought your pizza was there. Man, all this talk of pizza makes me want some pizza. I had Freddy's for dinner. Nice. I know some people in chat know what Freddy's is. Well, that's a problem. My phone died. Better give it CPR. You know, I thought, you know, hitting it a little bit might help, but I, that's probably a better idea. I, I don't know. Electric shocks. Hit it with some electric shocks. That might actually work. <laughs> Maybe slap a magnet next to it. I don't know if that's right. I feel like that's. No, if anything, that would kill it. Yeah, I was like, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to put magnets. No, magnets you're not supposed to put strong magnets next to electronics because it pulls things out of place. <laughs> okay, I've had three casts with nothing. We might have hit that um, some kind of fishing pressure that might exist. Oh, I see a fish. There we go, fish on. Little kokanee. The little kokanee that could get caught. Little bronze dude. I'm thinking we need to move up river. I think we might too. Oh, I just saw a big kokanee next to your lure though. I'm gonna get that little dude real quick. Once I lure, real lure, once I reel this in. It's also on. another decent one close. Man. There we go, got one. Oh, and I'm not gonna hook either of them. I hooked some other random fish. I don't even know what it is. Is that a, is that a white fish? Or is that a rainbow? One of them. It's nice, a white fish. A it's a good screenshot because my fish is bigger than your fish. I just <laughs> I just cast it out where you guys are fishing. <laughs> yeah. And I'm definitely stuck on that rock. Oh no, I see it. It's <laughs> oh, great. That's intended. Definitely. That's where you wanted wow. it to go. Nice, Marco. That's awesome to hear. I hope you enjoy the game. I hope you enjoy the game as much as we've been enjoying it. Nice. Okay. This was the smaller of the two, and it's two and a half pounds silver. This other one's gotta be a gold, at least. Come on, little guy, bite. I didn't, Cancer. I'm good. Thanks so much. <laughs> there we go. It's on. This is definitely bigger than that other one. They had two beers. I'm not there yet. I'm on number two right now. Oh, and I keep missing setting the hook. I gotta pay attention. Hey, Burdette, how's it going? Go. Hope you've been doing well. What do we got? 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 I'm gonna just cast one more out to the left over Looks here. Like we got a salmon. Wait. You got a, Maybe a rainbow trout, actually. I That's got a rainbow. A rainbow. Trout. Oh, it's a decent one too. Not bad. Nice, dude. Nice. It's a bronze. All right. 
You guys ready to move upstream? Uh, yeah, um, we probably should. Or, here, let me just finish this cast because there's something there. Oh, I see yeah, a rainbow. There's there. Oh, well, there's a bunch of fish over we're there. We're just like barely moving. Like the boat is moving a little bit. It's almost like we're yeah. trolling. I like yeah, this actually. <laughs> totally. This is nice. Kind of cool. Yeah, just, just keep that up, Rover. This is great. <laughs> I don't even have my hands on the keyboard. So. It's just drifting. I love it. That's great. Yeah, we're drifting. I'm about to get a rainbow trout Thanks. as well. I hope this doesn't Thanks snap for uh, the raining there we go. while the vehicle's in motion, Bray. Oh, appreciate that. Oh, my line <laughs> snapped, you bastard. <laughs> oh, there we go. I got it. <laughs> we got an no. eight-pound rainbow trout. Crow, crow oh, dare you. Better, you. <laughs> you were like sliding off the boat in that. I was. <laughs> yeah. That's Here, great. let me hop off the boat. That's I got great. A, I got a few. There's a th I got three fish over there that I need to get. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, um, let's just get off on this little uh, sandbar here. How do I here. jump off? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, stop moving. Uh, bro, bro. Right, there's a I few can't. moving I'm looking fish over anything. there. Well, turn. Like, what? turn, let, d turn, boy. We just want How you to we... beach it somehow. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, just, just beach the boat so we can get off. Like, right here. Yeah, yeah just, just, just go right, to, right a little bit. Whoa, here we go. Here now. We go. Okay, we're good. Boom. Off we go. All right, beautiful. Now, let's um, find some fish. What is... Oh, wow. I jumped oh, off and it said you were entering deep fish. water, and now it respawned me way the heck over here. Okay. No, oh, no. I'm on the way. I'm going to try this. I don't know if this will work, though. How do I like the game? I love it. It's definitely not for everybody, as it is more of uh, more on the arcade side of fishing games, but I enjoy it quite a bit. The multiplayer is some of the best multiplayer I've seen ever in a fishing game, and the open world is huge. Like, the ability to fish anywhere that I want is really the selling point for me. That was the thing I loved most when I first heard about it, and that's what I've enjoyed most as well. The Gosh. open world and the multiplayer are what does it for me. It's been a very enjoyable experience. I don't see any fish through there, so maybe that's not going to be a good place to put it out. Maybe you see anything over here, Brobra? I actually don't see any fish here. I don't either so far. Maybe it's because I just had the boat on and so they're not showing up. Could be. I just beached it really loud. Like it's completely on the sandbar. Like we can't go. We can't get off the sandbar. <laughs> Why does that not surprise me at all? And here you were talking about my boating. I did this one on purpose. That's what oh, they gosh. all say. I just randomly threw my... Oh my gosh, why is it not setting the hook? Dude, I got this fish right thing? here. Is it doing that thing where like you like it hits and then you hit, you hit the, the right mouse button, button and, and it like happens? Yeah, okay. I'm glad yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe that's a desync thing. Like that's a lag type of bug, I believe. I got kokanee salmon over here. Oh no. What are you making? Let let me guess. Jalapeno Mac. Oh, I see a Jalapeno fish. Jalapeno Mac? Mm. That sounds really good. Yeah, dude. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, there we go. Kokanee on. Just when we thought this part of the river was empty. That's a big one, too, I think. 2.21 pounds silver. Not bad. Yeah, keeps happening. Can't set my hook. Uh. Dang it. Um, I found what helps me the most is just letting it, the word, when the yellow bar comes up and I hit it too fast, I found that happens the most. If I wait yeah. for the actual text to come up before I hit the right mouse button, that kind of helps. Yeah, yeah, the second definitely. try always gets it. Just that first one. I actually had four in a row earlier. Ooh, there's a Holy. good fish out there. Oh, that's a golden, though. Thanks for the honesty. Still haven't bought the game, but so close. Yeah, it's it's definitely a lot of fun. Um, like I was saying, though, there's a fair amount of issues. Like the fish animations definitely need some improving, and so does the the rod animations. 
as well as just like the the behavior of the fish and how picky they are with lures I feel like right now they're not picky enough though they did improve it in the last update they could still maybe do a little bit more to make each fish have I guess more unique and individual preferences with lures and retrieval techniques but other than that this game has been amazing to me been loving it I mean how long have we been streaming <laughs> we've been Five. streaming Both for three hours. hours now and it's felt like one yeah, that's wild that that's three hours. Yeah, like this is the only game that I can play for three hours and just wonder where the time went. Another golden. I would just drive the boat around. Hey, the boats are pretty good. I gotta say, I didn't expect much with the boats, kind of knowing how the hunter call the wild is with water and vehicles. But surprisingly, the boats are very good in this game. They actually work very well, besides the water clipping through. But from what I understand, that's a known bug that will be fixed pretty soon. But yeah, I've actually been die. pretty surprised with the boats. You won't, you won't capsize. Thankfully. Man, yeah. I see a Despite ton of kokanee jumping on the other shore, just out of casting range. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to try and get to the other side, which we should be able to do. Here we go. That guy Actually, wants no, it. Actually, no, I can't. There's mm. a bridge up there. There is, but it's kind of far away. Ah, eh, I'll do it. I'll run up there. Maybe I'll find a new uh, hot spot too. Maybe I'll see a giant fish jump on the way. I'm with you. Later, oh, Lane. Thanks for dropping in, dude. You have the two um, fast travel spots. Up this river, right? I think so. Mm, wait, maybe? I have one. Oh, yeah, there's two. Oh, I should probably get that other one then. Might be helpful in the long run. Here, I'll go get another boat and bring it down for us. Uh, Lakin, right, have I got sweet. anything since you left? Uh, first of all, I don't know when you left. Uh, second of all, uh, I've, caught, I've caught so much stuff. I haven't caught any diamonds, though, if that's what you mean. But welcome back. Welcome back. Hopefully we can get those diamonds soon. Yeah. But yeah, it seems like whenever we stream. Oh, well, that's a dece. Oh, that's never mind. That's a rainbow. I was going to say it looks actually that could be a big one. Hmm. I'm going to have to see it once it bites. We'll see how this it's, fight is. It's too bad that like in early access and for the first little bit there, diamonds were so easy to get. I think feel I feel like that might have ruined it a little bit because now. Oh, yeah. There's so much harder to get, but now, you know, so many diamonds have already been seen from the early access and stuff. I just wish, like, that's fr that's frustrating, you know what I mean? Like, that's, because now, you know, if, if you get one and put it in a vid, it's, it's not going to do as well as it would if it was like that from the beginning. So that's a little bit frustrating. Yeah, it's one of the reasons why I restarted my account was because I didn't want any of the early access stuff to carry over. Yeah. Yeah, and I've been having more fun this way too. Like I still have so many diamonds I need to find. Yeah, as a player, it, it's not a that big of a deal. But from the content creation standpoint, it, it's a bit of a shame. Oh, definitely. Are there any issues in the angler? Oh, of course. Yeah, it's a brand new game. There are known issues. There's a known issues list in the Discord. Um, there are the odd things, but for the most part, it's it's a blast. I'm really enjoying it. Hey, KC, do you still play on Xbox? I still have an Xbox. Yeah, man. Another rainbow. I've, I've been playing it much lately, but still got it. We still do Xbox Trophy Lodge tours. Yeah, I'm getting mainly um, rainbow trout up here. Not a lot of interest for that at the moment, so not focusing on it too much. But I'm sure the the hype will be back for Call of the Wild soon. I think I'm probably gonna wait for the next update to do any Trophy Lodge tours of my own. Yeah, I mean it's a series for me though, right? It's like it's been a popular series, so it's like yeah, stuck stuck hey, between a rock and a hard place. Thanks to you, my my trophy lodge tour video started taking off randomly. <laughs> nice, because of all yeah, your trophy lodge, lodge tour tours. vids. Yeah, that series was a really big hit, so I hope that that comes back. But um, I uploaded one yesterday, and it oh, I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> Nobody's watching them right now. That's just in general right now with school getting in and the lack of updates for I mean, Call of the, the Wild. Is, like things are slow. It, but it's, it's yeah, the, the interest for Call of the Wild is a lot of people are just not 
It needs content. It. Needs some it needs new content. content. Revon Tuli has been to. a while ago now. Yeah, it's been a while since there's been anything to look forward to. Out of sight, out of mind. There's too many. There's a lot of competition out there. You got to stay relevant. I am very curious how things are going to be soon, though, since Jaxi keeps hyping up that there is supposedly a big update coming for the Hunter Call of the Wild. The last two streams that he's done, he said that there's something big coming, so... Non-typicals, maybe? I hope so. If it's non-typicals, that's what they need to be doing to, to like, drive the hype back up for the Hunter Call of the Wild. Like, getting non-typicals, it would only be the second hunting game to really do that in recent years, with Classic being the be other. Nice. That would be you, like a way to take some of the like uh, spotlight back. Yeah, I mean, the, there's just such a long list of like quality of life improvements and stuff too right now, and uh, I want to see some additions to the trophy lodge. The whole. Oh, I'd like to see thing. a like, whole new lodge. I just want to see like filtering options, sorting options, ways to make it not definitely. So but if they did, lodges. if they did a brand new lodge, that'd be the perfect time to introduce those changes. More multi mounts, yeah, for sure. That's what I want, probably the most out of anything. A lodge focused update would be great. Yeah, it would be. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end my stream, guys. I don't know how long you guys are gonna go, but I gotta, I gotta make a thumbnail. I'll probably go yeah, for a little bit gonna, longer. It's gonna take me a while. But yeah, thanks for being here, guys. Go uh, go migrate over to Scarecrow. Show him some love. Well, and I'll oh, be, geez. And I'll be back tomorrow. Oh, go, bro. I love you, man. Love you too, buddy. See later, you later, dude. Always Talk fun. Later. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow. New video. I'll be streaming on YouTube, and I'll probably be streaming on Twitch as well. Some rust. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Be safe. Take care. Stay awesome. Peace. Later. Bye. See you guys. Oh, definitely, Marco. I would love to see a bird dog as well. Like, a bird for waterfowl would be a pretty awesome addition. That also could be the next update. It would make sense with Revon Tuli and the waterfowl rework. I still have yet to get the waterfowl to work properly in multiplayer on Rev. It's, it's hit or miss for me. Like, if I'm just random multiplayer hopping and I go to a server where there's no zones in the area I'm going to be hunting, then I get a few flocks to fly by right after I place my decoys down. And then after that, there's not much action. It's usually just right after I toss down the decoys. Ooh, that's a good kokanee. Not bad. That's a decent one. Yeah. A silver 2.80. Hey, Cantor, how's it going? You two, um... Oh, wanna go hi. Get, hi. Well, uh -huh. You want to go get uh, the other fast travel locations on this river? Yeah, let's do it. And yeah, I agree, Johnny. Like, uh, a new dog really isn't what I want either, but it's, it's something I could see them doing for the next update. It's like, when it comes to new content... I want stuff relating to like antlered species in the game. Like I want non-typicals, drop tines, stickers. I want uh, revamps of white tail deer, black tail, like, you know, some of the older ones that need a little bit of love. I'd also like to see some true rex added to some of the other species on Verhonga. Nice, Faith, that's awesome. Bro, bro, what did you do? I was stuck. <laughs> Come on, I was so stuck. And you were complaining about my <laughs> driving last stream. Look at your... How, did, how does this even happen? I don't know. Ex explain to me how this happens. I don't know. How do you manage this? It just happened. You can never call me a bad driver again. Not after today. <laughs> I hit the wrong button and it went forward. <laughs> Is that a bad order? Oh my gosh. Doesn't even know his own boat <laughs> controls. <laughs> Wait, oh, oh. It's it's getting pushed in? Yeah, I'm pushing it in, don't worry. Yeah, I was I was trying to push it a little bit too. Yeah, push it this way. Oh. Come on, we got this. Oh. Okay, that that's, should be that's good. That's not the way to do it. There we go. <laughs> oh. Not home free yet? Bro, bro. Did you just do what I think you did? No, no, no. Okay. Oh, we're good. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we're free! <laughs>
It only took 10 years, but we're free. <laughs> it's a little elbow grease, but we made it. Just a little bit. I will let you know if I see a big fish on the surface. We gotta All be right. watching as we go up there. You never know when a giant could surface. I did just run through here with this, so it might have spooked him for a little bit. Well, it would spook yours. But not mine. Because other players can't affect my fish. Probably true. Uh, no, Lakin, it's not on console yet. Nobody knows when it will be on console either. Do I have this over here? Yes, I do. Okay. I love this part of the map, by the way. Like, yeah, it's gorgeous. These mountains, they remind me so much of Eastern Oregon. Uh, can you not just see a mountain lion drinking from the banks right here? Oh, I could totally. That'd be great. Johnny? Give us Johnny. some mountain lions in the angler, please. Yeah. Johnny, and make them that. vicious, unlike Call of the Wilds. You've got this... Well, this one, right? Um, yes, this is the one I do have. Okay, this is it's just one further ones up. further up I don't have. Um, and then you can go actually. There's a really nice spot if you go up that river right there. Uh, there's yeah. a boat dock, but not a fast travel location. And it's gotcha, a nice okay. deep little lake up there, and you get some big cockeye salmon up there. Beautiful. All right, I've already got that one. Yeah, like I've got the lookout point up here, but that's it. That's the only thing I've got up here is the lookout tower. And then yeah, there's, there's like another. an undiscovered icon. I think that's the, probably the, the other outpost. It probably is. I probably just didn't get close to it last time. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a uh, Patreon faith. I have not got one of those uh, going. I do have a Discord, though. I do have a Discord, and there is uh, some member channels in there if you're a member on YouTube. That's about the closest thing I have to, like, a Patreon is just memberships on YouTube and uh, Discord channels for the members. Oh, no, Xandra, that's not good. That doesn't sound fun at all. I know, right, Cantor? That'd be great. I'd love to see that. Ooh, this bridge is cool. I like the way that bridge looks. Whoa, man, we're taking on water. Don't slow down. I gotta check the map. You know, I'll check it for you. How about that? We're almost there. Oh, yeah, this yeah, is definitely right a fast travel location. Swing it just in. brought Come me on. in a pizza. Oh! I was craving pizza, and now I've got a pizza. Pizza and fishing. What a combination. What <laughs> just happened there? <laughs> I'm bringing her in. I don't know what I just witnessed, but my um, gosh. The salmon are good, really good here, too. Okay. All right, I got to get close to this thing to unlock the fast travel. There we go. I have 17 Actually of 25 trailheads. I actually haven't been further north. You want to check that out real quick? Uh, yeah. Let's see. I've got some of the stuff in the north, but not everything. Actually, like, yeah, the northern part of this little lake here might be cool to check out. Oh, that, I haven't been to that part of the lake. lake up there. I wonder if this little lake... The lake within the lake up here. Oh, the one north of us, kind of, like northwest? Yeah, it's like, uh, you see where the road kind of... Yeah, I see it. I right see the lake. lake. Let's try that. Let's there's also... Look at this. There's two lakes south of us as well. Three, actually. There's like three oh, or four yeah. lakes south of us that could be cool to check out. Let's go up here, check this lake. Well, should we just get a Jeep real quick and go to one of these other lakes? Yeah, right let's here? just do it. Let's get a let's Jeep real quickly. I'll get the Jeep this time. After hey, that look. that boating incident, I don't trust you anymore. Look. Oh, we got a note right here to grab. Crumpled up letter. Nice. I mean, it didn't look like a letter to me, but I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Oh, 
All right. You, sir, need clothes. All right, let's take a look at the map first. All right, yep, we can go either way. Beautiful. All right, Caitlin, no worries. Wait, do you have another level nine brown bear? Or is this the same one from earlier? Or are, are you just now going after it or is this a new one? Oh, here it is. Here is one of them. Yeah, let's check this one out. This has got to be my favorite part of the angler. Just checking out random lakes. This is what I kind of feel like. When it comes to the realism, this is what I feel like they were focusing on. This exploration, this realistic, like, go check out, just go find a lake and fish it. I feel like that's what they were talking about. Yeah, definitely. Oh, there's Kokanee here. Now, see, this is what I think of when I think of Kokanee is like lakes and ponds. Well, not necessarily so much ponds, but lakes. Since Kokanee are landlocked uh, sockeye, it makes more sense when they're in a lake. Oh, it's the one you saw earlier? Nice. Nice, Faith, that's awesome. Oh, you got a fish on already. Or is that Bree? Yep. I can't tell. I think that's Bree. Oh, it's gotta be. I just hooked one too. Yeah, we've got Kokanee on already. You know, as beautiful as the models are for the Kokanee, I do kind of wish they had gone with the non-spawning ones, like the bright silver. Bright silver ones, I think, would have been better. More realistic, at least, for the location. Though, regardless, they're still cool. Let's see a couple of them. Little rainbow. Oh, that's wild, Zandri. That's wild. See lots of kokanee out here. Oh my gosh, this one is so close. Is that a is that a golden trout? I think it's a golden trout. There's a little golden trout here. Doesn't want my lure either. Also, I hear something. Oh, there's one of the plants we need right here. Nice, Canter. I've actually got a uh, video ready for tomorrow. Well, it's not ready yet. I gotta edit it, but tomorrow's video is actually gonna be on the reindeer grind that I've been doing. I've got it to a pretty good point now. At least in the first phase of the grind. I can almost start moving on to some of the better locations. Oh yeah, they these golden trout do not want spinners. They want spinner baits, probably. Oh yeah, going for it already, I see. Or not? I got a decent sized fish coming after this spinner. Man. Could be a rainbow. Okay, we got some picky golden trout. I like it. These are very picky golden trout. Um, maybe the size five spinner. That's what I've caught them on in the past. No. Okay. Yes, yeah, is what I was talking about earlier. They've definitely changed it to where like. Sometimes the fish just aren't interested in what they normally would be interested in. Yeah, I got a nice big silver rainbow over here. Nice. This is a cool little pond. Come on, fish. I see a few of them out here. I, I see at least... Two golden trout and two kokanee, and none of them are biting at the moment. Gold kokanee at 3.85. Nice. That was close to diamond. Diamond's like just over four pounds, I believe. Uh, Faith, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. That's super generous of you. I hope you've been enjoying the stream. Thank you so much once again. 
see lots of fish, but none of them are interested in my spinners. Maybe if I go back to the size 7 and target these kokanee instead. Because the golden trout certainly are not interested. Okay, there we go. I think I see one now. Yeah, he's going for it. I do see one that's bigger than the rest of them, so I'm probably going to try and target that next. Do I like the game better after the update, or do I think it's too hard now? Oh, I like it more. I definitely think it's uh, a little bit better than it was, because it used to be that I could put any lure in front of any fish and it would bite it. Now you do have to be a little more selective with which lures you're using. Maybe not as much as I'd like to see in the future, but it's definitely like a step in the right direction in my opinion. It hasn't made the game too difficult, but it's a little more realistic than it was. Hey, okay, those aren't the one I was seeing. Where is that big kokanee? I saw one that looked huge compared to the others. Oh. You know, it might have been this rainbow trout now that I look at it. Okay, then. Well, that's unfortunate. False alarm. It was just a rainbow. Hey, Buck. I'm getting a wiggle on down to Silver Strand Meadows. So catch me there. Bye for now. Later, Dodge. Thanks for dropping in. Nice big rainbow. I got a rainbow doing some type of wiggle dance in front of me. Another gold kokanee at 4.2. And you are smoking them. Wait, 4.2? Yeah. Dude, that was so close to diamond. What's diamond? Like, just over 4.2. I think, like, between 4.2 and 4.4, like, somewhere in that range is diamond. Oh. From what I remember, it might be slightly higher, but you were really close on that one. Oh, I don't have a diamond fish yet. I want it. Oh, yeah, that would be awesome, Sloth. I would love to see fish finders. Or, like, some of those deeper lakes where you can't really see them. Like, with these little lakes right here and the rivers, we can see some of the fish, but I would definitely like a, uh, a fish finder for some of the deeper locations. Let's see. Decent kokanee out there. I see another decent one further to the left. Man, there's a couple good ones from what I'm seeing. Just a matter of getting them on, and there's one of them. Silver? I try that spring. Eh, smaller than I thought. 1.45 pound bronze. That has been the story of today. All of the kokanee look a lot bigger than what they really are. Got some chasing after this size eight spinner. Nice faith. That's awesome to hear. Hopefully you end up getting a great one. All right, fishy, come on. I landed right next to the one that I was looking at. So hopefully it'll be the one that bites. I am going to uh, take a bite of my pizza. And, oh, hope that it doesn't bite while I do that. There we Rainbow. go, fish on. Okay, this might be the biggest fish so far. Wait, is that a golden? It's a golden trout. No wonder it was fighting a little bit harder. Eh, 4.31 pounds silver, almost a gold. First gold salmon? Nice, nice. Man, y'all are smoking these gold salmon. I haven't got one yet out of this lake. Tons of bronze and silver, but no gold so far. Maybe I just need to find a different spot along this lake. Or right, the other side. Yeah, I'm gonna head over there. See if there's anything massive. 
I think this might be my last reel and I gotta call tonight. Yeah, me too, probably. I still do gotta edit for tomorrow's video, so I should probably do that before it's too late. Well, I see a spot that's right in the sun. Maybe I can spot a nice fish from here. Yeah, this side of the lake is really clear. Or pond? Or pond lake? Oh, well, taking a swim with him, I see. Alright, that's gonna do it for old Brobra. I'm out. Alright, later, you, Brobra. Everybody. Have yeah, I think I'm a call it quits too. I appreciate everybody dropping by though, but it is uh, definitely getting pretty late for me. It's about just before 10 p.m. So about time I hop off, but I hope you guys enjoy this stream. This was a fun one. Definitely Jeez. didn't go as long as the last one. Really? <laughs> it felt. It's uh, like three and a half hours. Yeah, that last one though, that was good. Yeah, that five-hour stream was crazy. But yeah, I appreciate you all being here. We'll be back tomorrow with a, another live stream, probably on either The Hunter Call of the Wild or Way of the Hunter. But uh, we'll see. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!